Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Red Dead Adventures here on Off the Shelf Reviews. I'm your host, Ian, and I'm back again, baby. I'm back for those challenges. Man, weather's a bit shit out there today, if I'm completely honest. It's very overcast. I know it's very, very hot again. Hey, Twitch102, hello. Welcome, welcome. Um... Yeah, I reckon it's going to be a very humid, shitty day today. Mm. Morning, Olympic. Morning, Seed Hill. How you doing? Uh, I'm just counting down the days. I mean, this is Wednesday. It's hump day, as you call it. Morning, Marco Garcia Flores. Um, greetings from uh, greetings from California. Greetings from the Southwest. Uh, yeah, so we're over hump day, or we're at least over the morning of the hump day, actually, Wednesday. Ah, oh, man. I really... I, be nice be nice if they just gave us gave us like Saturday and Sundays off and Monday just just because you know why not, why not even it out four days of work three days off you know nobody likes Mondays anyway so why even work on a Monday and it's Monday should actually be like a religious like law holiday like you can't even commit war on a Monday like, we're invading that country tomorrow. What day is it? Monday? Nope. No invading a country on a Monday. Why not? Because it's just not. Yeah, but, like, this is the perfect opportunity. This is, the, like, our only window. Like, if we don't do it on a Monday, we're never going to do it. Well, then we ain't ever going to do it because it's Monday. That's, that's, that's my two cents, anyway. I hate Mondays. Tell me why. I just hate Mondays. Tell me why. I like that song, though. Okay, what have we got today? Two condors plucked. That's pretty easy. Escorted, escorted someone in need. Oh, that's always a difficult one. Horse appearance of day. I can do that one pretty easy. Uh, Non-player enemies killed from the hip. That's pretty easy. Petted a dog. Oh, Rockstar. You really love showing those, sneaking those ones in, don't you? Petted a dog. Like I've been doing a, I've been doing the challenges for almost what sixty five days in a row, plus whatever I did in the uh, the beta stream. Morning Burton, morning. And petting a dog was never a challenge until today. Uh, player kills from cover and sockeye salmon caught. Okay, wow, some really quite um intricate ones there. So let's get the posse up and running. I don't know who's joined us today. Hopefully Brinsley joins us as usual and. Hopefully, Gary joins us if he can get his Xbox working and he's awake. Um, but you never know. Uh, let's check the explosive rounds. Right, we've got two explosive rounds for the revolver. We've got none for the pistol. We've got three for the rifle. We can get some kills with the shotgun if we wanted to. So, we're just going to put that on slug. Alright, first things first. Where are we? We're probably up by Ansberg, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we'll get the horse appearance updated first. Get that out of the way. Because um, you know me, I've always got to get like one done just to say, hey, look, the, ch the streak is continuing. And then all the others are going to gonna be worked on. I mean, three sockeye salmon. That's not too hard. And petting a dog. Uh, where's the dog? Oh, Fort Mercer. No, the... the the four up uh, by the salmon's got a dog because I accidentally shot it, didn't I? Did notice this on an update video yesterday. They've um, they've made a lot of horses like cheaper to buy. Like if you go to the Superior, which I bought a couple of days ago. Morning, Campbell. I bought a Superior horse a couple of days ago. It was eight hundred and fifty dollars, thirty-four gold nuggets. Today it is. It's, oh, it's actually the same, actually. Oh, it's the red chestnut. Oh, the red chestnut's actually the cheaper one. Well, that's I don't feel so bad now. I bought that one. I bought the white one, which obviously makes the chestnut look shit, really. So, yeah, we don't we don't need to worry about that. But they do have a sale on. They do have um, four stalls on as well. Um, so, you know, if you're in on it, get, get in on a horse. Get yourself a good horse. Win yourself some races. That's a really good idea. Uh, we want to get the horse appearance done. So I think, Artex, we're going to put you back onto the 
mohawk. So I, I like your mohawk next to your braid. <clears throat> got that challenge done. That one's unlocked. Now I just got to wait for the game to catch up on itself and make his hair work. So, like I said, I hope you're all having a good Wednesday. Counting down the days to the holidays, people. You know, we all, we all talk about the summer holidays and then, like, we're knee deep in it. And you don't know what to do with yourself. Like, do you, do you ever find... Cool, cheers, cheers, Jeff. Yeah, I, I had to uh, go with my mariachi outfit. Uh, do you ever find, like, when you have, like, a day off, you think to yourself, man, I, you know, you always plan, like, you've got six or seven things you got to do. You know, you've got movies to watch and TV shows to watch and games to watch. And then it gets to that day where you're off and you do nothing for three hours. <laughs> and you sit there going, man, I should have done this, 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 and this. And you just didn't. Instead, what you did was you just lied there, you know, staring out the window for five minutes. Um, you know, staring at your phone. And I don't actually think it's a bad thing, actually. You know, when people go, oh, that's terrible. You should do something. No, if you wanted to do something, I need to buy horse provisions. If you wanted to do something, you would get up and do it. There's nothing stopping you from doing it. Um, but if you're the type of person who doesn't do it, then that's the type of person you are. You didn't want to do it because you already got enough from, um, you know, you got you already got enough around people before, so you don't need and you don't need to be around people anymore. Yeah, I always have that attitude towards climbing a mountain. I didn't mean to do that. You know, it's like I know I could climb a mountain if I really, really, really wanted to. I really don't. So when somebody says, "Oh, Ian, you're missing out. You should really climb Everest," I'm like, "Yeah, I'm good." You know, I bet you it's the exact same up there as it is down here. It's just colder. Just, just colder. Right. Okay. What have we got next? Right. The posse is up and running, so I'm just waiting for friends there. Luckily, there's no posse ones to do today. Uh, Condor's plucked. Scorched someone in need. Pet a dog. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first head up. Where are you? You're up there. I'm going to head up here first. There's a woman who gets attacked oh, Christ. by a bunch of guys who might be up here. So I might be able to get my five from the hit kills and rescue her at the same time. But I've also just noticed as well that this guy seems to be following up the train tracks for me, so I'm going to put my explosive rounds into my gun just in case he gets a bit frisky. I'm going to pop one of those. I call it ghosting. I used to, um, I used to, I coined the name actually when I was playing Grand Theft Auto 5 so much, and I would follow people. Obviously, I'd be driving around, and then after a while, I would just see see somebody and just follow them for a couple of blocks you know, I'm not doing it sometimes I'd shoot them sometimes I'd blow them up you know sometimes we'd just get into a street race and have a laugh but I'd always just follow them for a little while and then drive off and then people would do it to me so I would op I would be watching my radar to see who was um, who was following me oh cheers Campbell thanks for the donation that's definitely gonna buy me um, some holiday fun booze yeah um, uh, but yeah, you know, you get I, I'd be go be getting ghosted by people as I'm driving along, you know, and I'm just watching this blip on my radar as it's getting closer and closer, and you pull quite, you know, quick turns left and right, places you would never go before. Oh Christ, what's that? Snake? Oh, it's a, Jesus! Oh Christ, it's a panther! I forgot about the panther down here. Right, gotta remember, there's a panther around this girl. Jesus. Oh, cougar, sorry. Killed a cougar. Uh, I'd like to request a film review, but I can talk about that later. Well, obviously, if you um, if you go through the Patreon system, you can put your film review on there. Um, so then, then Gary obviously sees it and can add it to the list. Um, but if, obviously, if you want to pass it through Discord or anything like that, um, so that we can obviously have a look at it. See, I'm now wondering, I'm like... Look at that donation. I wonder if that's another Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> hey, there he is. There's the man. Hey. Somebody's rocking a poncho with his sombrero. 
couple of good old banditos here. Nice. Okay, Gary, whole world, whole world, Gary. There you go. Hunter AQ. Okay. Right, we're heading up uh, to this spot up here, Gary, where there's a lady. Morning, Jake. Morning. Um, where there's a lady who could be getting attacked, so we could try and rescue her. And then, if not, we should really hit the salmon spot. Fucking turkeys. Who was looking for turkeys yesterday? I was looking for turkeys yesterday. Um, there's a salmon spot, and I need to capture three sockeye salmon. Where is it? Down here. Round here. Let's see. There is she, buggery. Okay. We might have to come back here later. But I also do know that there is a spot by the sockeye salmon that we can do. So, if I hit the marker over there. And then what else, what else have we got to do actually while we're heading there? Condor's plugged. We need to do that in New Austin. Doing that one in a second. Feel from the hip. Could do that in a story mission if we don't rescue her over there. Pair of the dog. What do you think that is? Pair of the dog. Yeah. Okay. Need to pet her a dog. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Let's scare him off. All right, get, get up, you little bastard. There we go. Boom. Golden Eagle. I would feel bad, but it's not real. Do you accept sprout, sprouts at, on Patreon? Only at Christmas, Bob. Um, and obviously, they have to be the buttered, covered, grilled sprouts um, with bacon bits on top. And that will only get you real. That will only get you really a short, like a short movie, like a like a 15, 20 minute movie. Um, oh, see, we are looking into kind of sorting out the tier system or the Patreon system for film reviews. Um, but it's still kind of in discussion mode at the moment. Uh, obviously, everybody kind of imagines us as like Scrooge McDuck. Uh, Gary, I'm just heading off to the Sockeye Salmon, so I'm following my marker if you're wondering where I'm going. You know, everybody everybody kind of sees Gary and I as, um, as Scrooge McDucks, you know, diving into pools full of money and, you know, throwing it about ourselves like, <laughs> you know, washing yourself with it. No, it's not really like that. It's honestly more like, you know, have you got gas? Yeah, good, because it's cold. <laughs> you know? I need socks. Right, let's get some socks. It's um, it's the world. The world's in a difficult place at the moment. I, I, I don't really understand economics, but I do kind of understand economics. You know, the countries are fucked. Like, if I'm all honest, I do honestly see the UK and partial parts of the uh, of the United States as third world countries. And I know I don't really see many third world countries. Like, I've never been to Johannesburg. Actually, I've never been any further than the UK. But I, I read and I watch enough of it to, to kind of imagine what it's like, you know? And, you know, some third world countries, they survive because that's just the only way they know how to survive. I think what makes it worse is when you take a third world state and put it in what shouldn't be a third world country, like partial parts of America, and they really go to fucking crazy on each other, you know? Like I don't, I don't, I don't want to diss America. Did you hear a gunfire there? I heard gunfire. I don't want to diss America too much, but oh shit! Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Artex, you in the fuck way. Like that was that was like totally my fault. That was that was like totally my fault. Um. But I, I don't feel bad about it either. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, violence in America. <laughs> like any country where you're uh, you're allowed to walk down the street with a high-powered um, assault rifle, you know, with lots of ammo. That's a worry. That is a worry. Hello, morning, friend. Like that guy just is totally casual with that whole situation. Three dead bodies and two. 
two strange looking banditos riding past. Like, nothing to see here, friend. I do like your uh, poncho there. I bought the poncho, Gary. I wasn't too sure if it looked right. Like, I do definitely prefer the jacket over the poncho. And did you get the you get the trousers as well, did you? Got himself some poncho trousers and some Austin boots. I think he got the Austin boots. Sneaky, somebody's been shopping. Right, let's see if I can get this. There we go. There we go. Ready? Let's go. Five. There we go. It's gonna be interesting. Go! Ah ha ha ha! How's that thumb of yours, guy? You got your tapping up and running? Ah! Oh, don't hit the rocks, Artex. See, this is where I could could lasso him in the back and pull him off his horse, but I don't want to do that too early. The man will get upset. No, oh, no! What the? What the? Did you see that kind of? What kind of that is aggression? That's kind of aggression. Oh, Artex! Come on, Artex! I bet you sat there doing it one-handed as well, you know, because you've been practicing, pr sneakily practicing while I've been playing. Oh, he's pulling ahead. Come on, Artex. Ah, oh, there's a guy there. Whoa, whoa, cliffs, rocks. How dangerous do I want to make the race? I want to make it real dangerous. Cut down the side. Ooh. Inside corners. Oh, round here. Round the path. Um, catching up. Catching up. There's a bear there. I just heard that bear. Round past it. Through the trees. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was unintentional. <laughs> but it was really good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to feed our text. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was fun. Uh, I have to buy those hay bales, Gary. Oh, don't mind, Brinsley. Was your dog? Your dog was just sick, was it? What is it with these dogs at the moment? I mean, dogs are an all the animals are going a bit doolally, and uh, it, well, I say doolally. I mean, obviously, there was an ill dog yesterday, which we are totally harsh about. I, was that Jake? Jake, was that yours, dog? Somebody's dog was ill yesterday and needed to see the vet. I want to, I want to hear the backup on that one. Um, yeah, well, the, there was the thing in um, The Dead Don't Die where um, all the dogs... No, it wasn't... No, it wasn't dogs. It was signs where all the, do where all the cats and dogs were acting kind of weird, you know, and... People say, you know, it could be an illness. But what happens if those aliens from M. Night Shyamalan's movie are back? Like, I'm just putting it out there, people. Um, okay, right, Gary, over here where I'm standing is a good spot to catch Simon. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do this yet. I'm going to pop up to the fort to see if there's a guy up there. Yeah, if there's a dog up there, actually, I'm going to see if there's a guy down here. Is there a guy down here? Nope, but he might turn up at some point. So, we've got some stuff to do down here. Uh, I'm going to pop up to the fort to see if there's a, see a man about a dog. Come on. Come on. Artex, that, that gap is perfectly fine, Artex. get so wrapped up into playing this. I get so wrapped up I do get really annoyed when certain certain things don't work. Like I could run up any slope in this game really quite easy with a good pair of boots on, you know, just run right up. But in the game obviously it's been designed and textured so it kind of stops you from going up. So you just watch yourself and your horse slide down. And I'm like, I always get so annoyed, like, just run up there, just run up. 
Just finished watching a Storm Area 51 video. Thoughts? I think it's cool, but I wish we'd get a statement from them dismissing the event and giving us facts. Uh, yeah. So they did they storm area? Did they really storm area 51? Like I didn't hear about 20 people going missing, or just mysteriously have just ended up being dead like one morning. Um. Like, well, that's the problem I've been saying for ages is that area 51 is there and we know it's there. You know, with modern age technology and things like that, but we are still obviously trying to attempt to deny that it's there, which is not exactly the easiest thing to do. Um, there is no dog. There's no dog. There's no man with a escort mission. Bet you it's one of those head into a server kind of reload up the server kind of moments. Hey, lungful drummer. Yeah, so did they, did they, did they, um, who, who was it breaking into Area 51? I mean, was it like a group of people? Because I, I thought it was just kind of like a Facebook thing, you know, like a Facebook party people arrange, um, and then like 20 people turn up and you realize that it's actually, a, it was really a bad idea. You know, you, what you thought was just going to be a small gathering of friends turned out to be a fucking small international incident. Are you, for, are you looking for, oh, you're looking for something down there, aren't you? Near ducks. Being tormented by ducks. Where is my fishing rod? There we go. And then I need some cricket bait. And some sucker salmon. Where are you, bad, bad boys? Where's the blue goes? Ah. Throw that in over there. A little bit of fishing on a Wednesday morning. Don't know if this feels like a salmon. Does this feel like a salmon? Feels a bit light. It might be. No, it's a uh, rock bass. Bluegill. Yeah, it's a bluegill. Goddamn bluegill eating up my crickets. I need to go to the fishing shop as well, pick up some more. Uh, there we go. <laughs> wow, Jay, that's quite dark. I mean, you know, storming Area 51 is akin to a mass suicide party. Every person at the party killed themselves by shooting themselves in the back of the head three times. Dark and practically impossible unless they all helped each other to do it. Do you think Donald Trump was constructed in Area 51? You know, they just kind of tested him over the last 20 to 30 years until they made him president. Like, the guy literally looks like he's made out of plasticine sometimes. I sometimes think he's just going to melt. melt. But morning, Matt. Fist bump. Joe Rogan recently had a guy on his podcast that worked at Area Fifty One. See, that's the, see, that's the worst thing about it nowadays, isn't it? Like, you could put it on your Facebook profile, and the men in black are not going to come and get you. Like, the men in black actually probably have their own Facebook page now. Yeah, come on. Oh, what's this? This might be a salmon. Feels big one. No, it's a rock bass. No blue, never blue again. God damn it. Uncreated de deconstructism. Ian, always at 4 a.m. I don't mean to. It's 9 a.m. here. Well, it's 9.23 a.m. here. So, I've been up since 5, if it makes you feel any better. Like, you know, been to work this morning, done my thing. I said Northern Pike. Don't want the Northern Pike. Okay. Let's go see if that dog is there. See if that guy is there. So much to do around this one area. How you doing with your um, with your salmon, Gary? I could move further downstream, but hit my some food. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, motherfuckers. Hey, fuck, fuck me, huh? Oh. 
that guy. Oh, oh. They shot Artax. Can you believe they shot Artax? Motherfuckers. Yeah, there's one thing I fucking hate is somebody who's fucking shooting a fucking horse. <laughs> so far, is it. Well, I just got my escort guy, so I'm going to ride off with this escort guy and then come back see if they respawn. If you want, there, there might be a canoe down here. Normally is when this guy's here. There's Bluntmaster. Yeah, boy, there's a canoe. I'm going canoe. There's two canoes, Gary, if you want to come canoeing. You and Bluntmaster and the other one. <laughs> right, I'm taking this guy. I'll be back in a bit, boys. I love canoeing down this river. You wouldn't believe how long it, I waited to, to get up this high in the rapid. And now I've found that there's an escort mission up here where boats spawn. Fucking awesome. Need to work out a way to have you both on voice chat. Uh, well, I mean, I did actually was suggesting to Gary about him coming on maybe on a Thursday evening episode. Because obviously I record in, in the mornings on Thursdays with Gary. But it leaves my Thursday evenings open for two hours. And I was thinking about having guests in. So I talked to Linda about maybe having Linda come in. Um, talk to Andy. Uh, Gary, obviously. And just have them sit there and talk to me while I'm you know, doing my challenges. But I like this way as well, because obviously Gary's more of a Gary's more of a shooter than a than a talker. Like he'll he'll shoot the gnat off of a donkey's ass at ten paces. But he can't tell you what you had for breakfast. Oh Brock. Oh we're rocking it down the river. Rocking and a rolling. Whee. Come on. God damn old Driscoll's. Yeah, man, you getting kidnapped by those Driscoll's all the time. Like, I don't know how you get into that trouble. Like, we've killed a lot of them, and you still keep getting kidnapped. Discord will work. Just need to set it up at Ian's end. Yeah. Oh, Gary, you spelled my name wrong. Don't start that shit. Two eyes. Terrible. Oh, we're coming through! Yeah, but then, then again, I, do I need Discord? You know, I mean, we can get Discord at any point. You know, this is, this is all about my adventure. These are my adventures, not the Discord adventures. <laughs> so, have you done all the missions online? Uh, yes. I believe so. I've done all the... All the story type missions that they've got out at the moment and all the free roam missions that they have released. I still haven't seen that family in the north for a couple of days, so I definitely need to get up there. We need to head up there maybe, boys, when we get some free time. Um, they, uh, there are two, two more missions left for Miss Leclerc to do. Um, we've already robbed the bank for James Langston, I think his name is. Hook, bang. And we rescued Tom Davies and killed all of that guy, uh, Montez's men. Um, but obviously, I think they'll just extend it more and have just, you know, more side missions to do. I only realized, uh, like, like, two or three weeks ago that I had a whole new set of missions to do. I thought I'd done everything. Um, but, but because I'd been living as a good guy for so long, you know, I wasn't causing any harm to people. My honor, my honor level was always above half way all the time. Um, the game didn't actually activate any of the negative missions for me. So one day I went to go do um, go go do a replay of one of the negative missions because I wanted to get a challenge on it. And when I once I lowered my honor down. The game actually activated all of the negative honor missions, and I realized I had like two or three missions to do, and was, just went off and did them, and then came back and did the mission I had to do. So, I love the fact that I was always finding something new to do. I'm always finding something new to do, even though today, even though today may be my fifth time canoeing down this river with this guy in the back. I don't care. You know, I'm canoeing down a river on a sunny day. I'm not getting shot at. There's no assholes. There could have been an asshole at any point. Whoa! Down 
the rapids. Oh, don't watch out for the rock. Going through. And... Hey! Oh! <laughs> and then the, I think the boat sinks. Does the boat sink up there? Can you get on? There you go, come on. Come on. There we go. Hey, can we get down the rest of the river? Because the last time my boat sank, actually. I want to get... Going down the major rapids before it sinks too much. Whoa. Like, I couldn't do this in real life. Yo. Oh, Christ! Oh, we overturned! <laughs> uh, okay, that's getting a bit dangerous now. Artex! I'm soaking wet. I've got water all in my sombrero, all in my mustache. Ah, I feel refreshed. Yes, yeah, senor. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Oh, I've got to feed you again, Artex. Man, you eating me through how's I'm home today. So I've got two more from the hip kills to do. Because I nailed three of those guys before, um, before rescuing this guy. Well, where am I going this way? Follow the yellow brick road. There are, there, uh, there are rumors online that obviously the summer stuff um, isn't going to be available just yet and will come out after summer. Um, but those are just mainly rumors. And I kind of look at the comments from people, you know, because uh, Rockstar always puts up stuff about new uh, new stuff that they've downloaded. Hey, Scarrow. Um, so, like, um, you know, yesterday they put up a post on Facebook about how they've got some new coats out or uh, new hats. It's like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't <laughs> it's all gone a bit now. river wild. So yeah. here, take this. I know it's not much. And then you get to the comment section, and people are just in there dissing Rockstar. Oh my god, Rockstar, how could you keep releasing the, uh, this when you should be doing the DLC? The community want it. You're, you're, you're all absolute assholes. I don't even play this game anymore. I can't even sign in. You know, Every time I go to my Xbox and hit the button, nothing happens, so I blame Rockstar for it. My girlfriend left me yesterday because we weren't having a good sex life, and I blame Rockstar for it. And I sit there, and I'm just like... What are, you, what are you really complaining about? There, there's something definitely... Yeah, there's something definitely Rockstar has to deliver. Good morning, Brian. Um, there's something Rockstar has to deliver. But they don't have to deliver it like that to you. Oh, man, did it not... No way. Oh, come on, game. Now, I blame Rockstar for that. <laughs> Fucking Rockstar. Fuck you, Rockstar. That should have counted as an escort mission. But at the same time, saying that though, like I, I don't blame them for it. Like I'm not going to scream their name and curse them for for me not getting that that mission. Then, you know, it's it's just a glitch, and I'm waiting for the DLC. Whatever the DLC comes out, because they obviously they advertised that it was going to be like a a treasure hunting, a bounty hunter, and a uh, explorer one. I think it was. I'm just like, oh yeah, more is good. I can go with more. Oh, and it's free? Okay, I'll take more free shit. You know why you'll never have vision problems. Uh, see, I stopped. I haven't got hairy palms, hairy palms anymore. <laughs> That's a bit of a dirty joke. Okay, keep an eye out for a dog. I head up there and get some more sockeye salmon. I've got the two eyes. Oh, that's a nice. I like that one. That's a good joke. Give me a username. I like that one. I got the two eyes. See, it's it's the rare. I think they consider it the Gaelic form. You know, the and Gaelic's obviously the proper Scottish kind of way and I used to hate it I really used to you really used to hate it you know because um, there were like there were like three other Ians in my class when I, when I was younger and obviously they spelt theirs I-A-N and I immediately I just got like tarnished with the same brush like this is just this is just the way you spell it Ian and I'm like no 
because on my birth certificate it's got two eyes. So I've always had to like, <sighs> two eyes, motherfucker, two eyes. Seeing Apollo 11 today, eh, Scarrow? Wait, you're still not in. Wait, where were you? you were, were you in Sokovia? No, wait, Sokovia is that place from um, Age of Ultron. Where's that place in Hostel? You went to the place from Hostel, didn't you? Romania? No, the other place. And now you're seeing Apollo 11, so you must be in America now. Back in Blight. Oh, you're back in the UK. Where's Apollo 11 in the UK? Is it like parked somewhere? Ah, I see. I was close. Sokovia, Bulgaria. Kind of the same place. Uh, hey, in, any interest in Bloodstained? I'm hoping that's a game. Because um, obviously, if it's. Bloodmaster, you're not part of the passe. I have to invite you to the passe? I don't see you on the list. Oh, there you are. Invite. I had to invite you. <gasps> Should I have to invite you? You should immediately just be locked in there. <laughs> well, I, yeah. Sokovia kind of stuck in my head. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what Bloodstained is. Um, if it's game or not. Uh, for, for some reason, I'm thinking Bloodborne. I've got Bloodborne in my head now. Uh, is that a, that's a Northern Pike. Northern Pike. Salmon. Oh, you, you know what I should have done before I came down here? Knew there was something I was thinking before I came down here. I see the Northern Pike there, but it's... It's it's no salmon. With Apollo 11, you know, with all of the moon launches, it's one of the things that when people say, oh, they must have faked the moon landing, I'm like, they went for a lot of fucking effort. They went for a lot of effort to fake something so mega. Know. First, they had to get the rocket up there and put the people up there in space too. That's that's gonna at least take some effort. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The guy there. So this should be where is the chickens? The chickens? No, no. Right. Okay then. I think there is a dog down by the fence. Down by Emerald Ranch, which we can pop down to. How are we doing with those salmons? Because I'm going to try and get some salmons. There's no dog up here at the moment. So I've just got to try and I'll try one more time to get some salmons. And then if not, I'm going to chuck us into a story mode so we can kill five guys from the hip. And then bring us out, maybe in New Austin, so I can nail those condors at the same time. Because you get a lot of eagles and a lot of hawks up north, but the condors are a lot down south. So, I saw tons of dog yesterday, and now of course it's hard to find one. <laughs> yeah. That's the way, it's, it's the old rock star way, isn't it? I want to change. Right. Come on, salmon. See, there's the no. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, what's that over there? I see. I see that over there. I see Northern Pike there. Northern Pikes as well. There's fucking. There's Northern Pikes all over the place there. What's that over there? That's. Mustafa! Hey, Mustafa! I don't know if he'll actually stay. What I usually tend to find as well is when I've got up here and there's lots of Northern Pikes, I reel the Northern Pikes out. I take the Northern Pikes out of the bloody river. To make way for the salmon. The problem is, the Norman Pikes are such a fight to get out of the river in the first place. I mean, this one's at least a bloody 19 pounder. You can hear me struggling with the joypad. Don't break my line, you son of a bitch. Knew he was going to break my line. <sighs> right. Uh, well, the water is busy now. There's a lot of bluegills. There's some salmon to the left. Morning, Mustafa. Oh, right. I'm, I'm going to say, hey, Mustafa. Yeah, I'm wave. I'm, I'm trying to wave. I just, I just got to put my. There we go. All right. Hey. Oh no, I don't mean to do that. Oh, didn't mean to. Oh, put away the rod. Thank you. 
Mustafa. Mustafa. Hey, Mustafa. Hey. I don't know if he's actually part of Discord. It'd be cool if he was part of Discord. I wonder if he's like, oh, what are you doing? You're trying to get salmon. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to get salmon. Now. Just a random guy. Just come on in. Just join in the posse. That's cool. Okay, I've got two left. Christ. I should probably change it to maybe a worm. It's one of the most annoying things about doing challenges. I always hate starting a challenge and getting like halfway through and then having to go and do like three or four different things to complete the rest of the bloody challenge because I haven't got the stuff. Oh, Chain Pickle, what are you doing eating my bait? That, that ladies and gentlemen, is not a salmon. That is a tiny, crappy little chain record. Okay. Let's try Lugo, chain pick rope. No. Alright, last one. Last one, and then we'll have to go pick it up. Uh, there was a were CGI werewolf thing, and Annabelle comes home. Looked absolutely ridiculous. You went and still saw it. I feel for you, man. I feel for you, Scarrow. Like, some films are... Some films are just so shit, you can't believe what you did with your time. Why was there a werewolf in Annabelle? I mean, did the doll turn into a werewolf? Um, did she, like, makes them believe that they were a werewolf? I, I bet. Like, I haven't even wikied it, because obviously the film sounds ridiculous, but I bet the doll was destroyed at the end, but then actually turned up at the end. Whoa, you stupid douchebag. Ah, oh, man. Well, I, kept, I caught a salmon. It's just he blew a lot of them up with... Mustafa, what level are you, Mustafa? 102. Right, that is, not, that is one way to get salmon, but at the same time, it's not. Because it's such a pain in the ass to try and pick them up when they're dead. And I, they kind of don't count. Where is it? That's Northern Pike, Northern Pike. Over there. I should really... Right, okay. I need more... I need more bait. Is that one dead? That's a Northern Pike there. Take the perch, and I'm gonna grab poor, poor perch. The poor, poor perch. That's why you don't use the dynamite. It makes it all the fish shit. Come on, up again. Yeah, well, you. It's a good way to get lots of perch. The problem is the challenge actually specifies uh, salmon caught, and when it says salmon caught, you know it means you gotta catch it with your fishing rod. Not pick up, because I think I think that's what it said once was uh, pick up like six, pick up like five fish. Um, so obviously you just threw the dynamite into the water and blew them all up, and then you just pick them up. But when it says caught, you've got to catch that motherfucker. And he's just blown up all those salmon, so he scared them all off. I bet. Is he? looks it. It looks like he has. Nope. Actually, they're spawning again. That's all blue girls. Blue girls. Probably not going to catch anything with the worm. You're making a hilarious face in the thumbnail for this video series. Yeah. Um, I'm, I said to Gary last week, I said, how did you catch, how did you get that look on my face? And he said to me, he said, I, I didn't. He said, it was all accident. He said, I was editing one day and I just happened to pause it while I went to go get a drink. And when I came back, you were making that face. It's like, awesome. I was saying to him for a while that that's what I kind of wanted to do was get uh, pause points of us from the reviews and then just slap those faces onto t-shirts. So you just end up with like a really, like one of us making like a, a weird farting face or something. Uh, I need, that's a Northern Pike again, isn't it? 
just saw its big ass tail popping out of the water. I'm gonna need to go get some cricket bait. Live crickets. Come on. Tie you out, you big bastard. I can see the salmon. I can see the salmon next to him. No, pull you son of a bitch. Come on, work with me. Don't know he's gonna dynamite the fuckers again. I should message him and say no dynamite. But he's not gonna listen. You ain't gonna get much from that. What's that there? Let's see it. That's a northern pike, that's a northern pike. Northern pike. That one there? That's a northern pike. Is that a northern pike? Yeah, it's another northern pike. Are those salmon or perches? Oh, that looks like salmon. Is that a salmon? Fuck like salmon. What about next to it? What was next to it? Uh, another one. Yeah, see, so I got I I got three. I just didn't catch them. So I'm gonna move away from this guy. Oh, actually, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna message him and say, no dynamite. You gotta tell these people these things. Such noobs on here sometimes. Oh, no dynamite. Learn to type very quickly on them. Um, on the Xbox joypad because I'm always finding myself trying to do it. Right, okay. Where'd the guys go? Brinsley, Gary, where did you go? Did you go to. Oh, you're in Valentine. Right, I'm heading down to Valentine now. I'll be down there in two seconds. The sockeye salmon aren't spawning, so we're going to. Well, no, they are spawning. Fucking guys just dynamiting the shit out of them, which is uh, kind of annoying. Set my market to here. The fort. Right. That's the fort. Is there a dog? Dog, dog, dog. Dog, dog, dog. Dog. No. Right. No dog here. So, next port of call will be. Uh, right, I'm going to head down to Emerald Va Ranch to the fence because I believe there's a dog down there. So I'm going to head down there now. Uh, my wife has Red Redemption once a month. <laughs> oh, Michael. Ooh. Now, I'm sure you love your wife a lot because otherwise you would have said that to her face while she was in the room. <laughs> and if you're like a lot of us, you, you wouldn't. I I um I recently watched I've been recently getting behind Key and Peel. Oh wolves! Oh look, pack of wolves. Guess what we were looking for yesterday? Um yeah, so I've been recently getting into a lot of Key and Peel, and I was watching their their one where they're they're two husbands, and you know they, they walk in and their wives are there and their wives are like hey honey you stay here i'm gonna go and look at the rest of the house and they're all excited and the husband's like yeah okay honey yeah you go off you go and um they, they start talking to each other and he's like hey man how you doing yeah yeah oh guess what my wife did to me a couple days ago what'd she do oh she did this thing she did this thing and I, you know i was so annoyed at her i looked at my wife and i said and as soon as he said i said he just stop they both stop and stare around and then quietly they look at each other and they go bitch and he's like what did you say i looked at her and i'm like and they pause i said bitch <laughs> and i was crying because you know I, I i i i'm kind of like that you know linda linda always gets mad at me when she's like i can't believe people think i you know you're vi i'm violent to you because you're always scared of me and I'm like, honey, they know, they know it's not true. They know I love you and I respect you. And, you know, it's not, it's not like fear, fear. What's this? Bandits? Bandits. Oh. Oh, it's a escort mission as well. 
There we go. Five killers from the hip. Yeah, I don't need the hip, hip fire anymore. Oh, okay. And there you go. Oh, where's the other guy? Up there. There we go. Got that guy. Um. Bleed this, bitch. Whoa, there's three more coming in from the side. Okay. See, this is what happens when I'm on my own. People just end up getting killed. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'll let you free. Um, yeah, so I was in absolute stasis because, like I said, um, you know, I love and respect my wife, and I, I, I do stuff not to upset her. It's not that I'm really, like, absolutely terrified of her. I just don't want to see my wife upset. Yeah, we're talking Key and Peele, man. We're talking Key and Peele up in this bitch. Like, I like they remind me of the two Ronnies. You know, they they remind me they remind me of the two Ronnies. They remind me of like comedy duos. It's just they're, they're fucking awesome. I think I think in a way I know it sounds bad, but I think also that's why I still kind of like Predator. You know, because um, is it Peele in that uh, or Keel or Key? Um, he, um, he, he, he was kind of funny in that. He was kind of funny. Um, I watched the one yesterday, slap ass. <laughs> when you're playing baseball, man, you're playing baseball and you got, you got to get that slap ass. You got to get that home run. You got to get that slap ass. I just need one more. Oh, it's just, like, I imagine that's kind of what me and Gary kind of viewed at. Like, obviously I'm the funny one. Um, he's more of the serious one. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, with with the wife, like like I love and respect my wife. I don't want to see her upset. But at the same time, I've I've said this on a previous episode. I don't want to wake up one day with her standing over me with like an axe. Like, what do you mean you call me a bitch? I'm like, oh shit, somebody fucking grasped on me. Oh man, if I survive this, that motherfucker's dead. You know, huh, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, fucking hell. I, I, you can't use the stable at the moment because I'm in the middle of a mission, I think. So I'm escorting this fucking guy. And I've just ran into it like a real large group of them. Luckily, Mustafa's here. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, we just we just fucking killed like 10 people there. Um, I'm, getting, I'm coming to Valentine now. Um, I'm heading to... i got to get this stranger to Valentine now and then I'm... I'm done, and hopefully this one counts, because if not, then we definitely need to change the fucking server. And I was looking at her, and we were, we were stood there, and she, she started saying stuff to me, and I just looked at her, and I was like, BITCH! <laughs> I was like, BITCH! Uh, yeah. Yeah, horse riding would be painful in the junk, so I imagine a lot of people died, um, a lot of men died, uh, in the Wild West from hernias, you know, just from their nut sacks, like catching between the horse seat. But at the same time, you would have learned to ride from a young age, wouldn't you? So you would have probably have grown accustomed to a certain seat and you would have had like a certain saddle where your ass would have eroded like a, like a cheeks. You know, you'd be like, I need my saddle, I can't ride anybody else's saddle. Nearly at civilization. Nearly at civilization. <laughs> He must be bad if I'm calling Valentine's Hey, Valentine's not too bad as a civilization. Actually, Valentine's quite civilized compared to, like, Saint-Denis. Fucking... I mean, you should head down to fucking Rhodes. Rhodes is a shithole sometimes. There we go. I escorted. Come on, mission. Come on, mission. I know it. That's a large group of people in front of me at the moment. Take it. It's the least I can do. Please, give me the, you give me the challenge, please. Yeah, like memory foam. Come on, challenge. Right, okay. So that's like two people I've rescued in the in the space of an hour and neither of them come up. So that's a motherfucking shit. Right, well, yeah, we'll definitely have to do a challenge thing. In a minute. Uh, Brinsley, are you heading to uh, the horse? Yeah, the stable to do your horse. Hey, guys, how you doing? How you doing, guys? You're all on TV. You're all on Candy Candy TV. Infant Mainzy. Um, who's this down here? This is Bill679. Hey, Bill. How you doing? They have killed a lot of people in this town for some reason. Um, okay. 
So, need to head to Emerald Ranch. So while Brinsley's in there, I'm going to head to uh, Emerald Ranch. Where did Gary head off to? Gary, where did you ride off to? Oh, they're taking pictures. Strawberry shithole, yes. Um, Gary is... He is riding O to the heart. Oh, no, that's Mustafa. Sorry. Not entirely sure where Gary is. I'm going to have to look on the map. Picking up ammo? No. That's Mustafa. Oh, yeah, there, there's Gary. Gary's all the way out by, by Emerald, which is where I'm heading right now. But, yeah. Uh, you pass like in school. Um, yeah, I passed school. I didn't do too badly actually, in school. Um, C's and D's mostly. Mainly because, obviously, with everything going on, it's very hard to concentrate at such a young age on growing up with, um, with learning shit. Plus, when you're in school and you kind of know it's wrong. Like, I was being taught RE for a long period of time, and I didn't give two fucking shits about religion. But I had to kind of know what they were. Nowadays, yes, it, 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 would, it, it would help. It does work now to know that kind of stuff, because obviously there's lots, many levels of um, and you're, of avoidance of discrimination out there. But back in the day, I'm like, fuck! How many gods do the Chinese have? I mean, shit, man. But it was still, you know, I still passed. I didn't. I never. I, I never missed a day in school. I, I went every day, which, yeah, sucks. But, you know, when you actually didn't have any other option, like, you know your life's bad when actually school is the best place you can be. Um, but then again, obviously, even if you didn't go to school, like, there's nothing out there in the world. So, like, I would have liked to have lived in South Central Los Angeles and been part of a gang, but gangs didn't want me. They were like, <laughs> we're not having a ginger part of our gang. I was like, <laughs> People don't want me to be in their gang. Oh my god! I bet I'm for crying. Uh, I've been on a Ricky Gervais, Ricky Gervais show binge recently. Lungful. I recently um, got back into Ricky Gervais. What? I'm going back and watching the um, the old podcasts he used to do with Carl Pil Pilkington, and obviously pre um, Idiot Abroad and all that kind of stuff. And oh my god! It literally is just Ricky Gervais ripping on people, isn't it? Like, I first thought he was a bit of a dick. Um, thinking, oh man, he's just really horrible to people. Like, look at the way he is to that Carl Pilkington. But then, you kind of realise that it's not him. It's not Ricky Gervais. It is everybody else. And he is just honestly pointing out the fact that, that person is being a fucking idiot. Which I was like, oh man, yeah. I can get behind it now. Uh, you and Ian remind me of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Oh, I, I totally shotgun fucking Simon Pegg because he's ginger. Gary, you can you can be Nick Frost. And that's just because you get to say, yeah, boy. Okay, well, I'm looking for a dog. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking for a dog here. Why do I hear gunfire? I hear gunfire. Why have we got a bit of a posse going on this morning, haven't we? Four people, yay! It's the most we've had on, and it's only episode 15. Where's the dog? Oh, you are fucking shitting me! Right, right okay. We're going to have to go into something. Brinsley, did you sort out your, um, did you sort out your dog? Um, your dog? Jesus Christ. Did you sort, sort out your horse appearance? Because if so, I am going to blop it into some player kills from cover and showdowns to jump it into another. Who killed the dog? Did fucking did Mustafa kill the dog? Did Mus Gary? Did Mustafa kill the dog? Because if he did, I'm going to blast him right in the fucking face. <sighs> yep. Mother. Okay. Motherfucker, that's a motherfucking challenge that we were gonna do, and you fucking shot the dog. Fuck, mother. 
sometimes you just yeah we're gonna go get the dog challenge so we're gonna um what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop into showdown um we're gonna pop into a showdown series so that we can get that oh he's left now well that's a shame that's that's just shocked me that is he's probably just, like lobbing dynamite into if it if he was watching and then joined in because he obviously he's trying to fuck our challenges, then I'm glad I even shot him even more. I hope he's Twitch streaming right now and he's like, boycott off the show for views because that Ian shot me for no reason. All I was trying to do was fuck his challenges. Fuck it, mum. <laughs> Bit early for a mum joke. Sorry. Right, okay. Three kills from cover. I don't think we're going to get it in this one because we just joined this one. But if not, then obviously we can still. Oh, Gary's on the other team. Oh shit, Gary's on the team. On the other team. I did. I, I shot him with an explosive round to make sure he was not getting back up. Right. Okay. Let's. The armored. The armored trains up. There. The armored trains up there. I think. Uh, pump action. Take pump action. Right, don't need to worry about winning. Would like to obviously get the cover kills. Wherever they are. Watch it. Go! Somebody's pissed on my head. It sounds like somebody's pissed on my head. Where is he? I need music. Okay. I mean, he shot the dog. Like, I shot the dog in one episode, and that was a fucking accident. He shot the dog, like... Like, on purpose. Where is he? I'm over here. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Orange is your colour. Orange is the new black, Ian, remember? Fuck, where are the purples? Where are they? Okay, I'll take this. Oh shit! Motherfucker! Like if nobody's gonna take them, I'll take them. Uh, right. I cannot find anybody. Not there. What about there? Oh, I got him! I got that motherfucker! He was up there! He was fucking up there! He's not up there anymore. Yeah, baby. I would have loved to have seen it from that guy's fucking. I would have loved to have seen it from that guy's perspective. <laughs> you know, I. <laughs> Like, he's just out there, like, waiting, and then all of a sudden, this dynamite arrow just blows him up to pieces. That would have been awesome. This guy runs like I walk when I have to go to the loo. Looks unnatural. Well, you got to imagine, I, I haven't changed my trousers or pants in, like, two weeks. So everything in there is just congealed. I think congealed is the right word. Maybe, um... Crustace crustated. Uh, right, Gary, we are on yep, yeah, we're on the dandies. Hostile territory. We are going for purchases. Man, I wish I'd seen that fucking guy up in that tower. Oh, I didn't even lock on, I just fired it up there. The arrows were just sitting there doing nothing. Right, I want my pump action. I need my pump action. Click click. Well, thanks, Ian. <laughs> oh, well, no, no worry. I can do that. An arrow speeding towards you, bringing a sweet relief. You could kill people by walking close to them and they breathe in the stink. Yes, been there a few times as a small child. You know, you're a teenager. You're like, I don't need to shower. And then, then girls are like, you need a shower. And you're like, okay. Yeah, sorry. 
like, I think that's one thing I love. One thing I love about the human race, and especially about men in general, boys to men. Like when you're a boy, you're like, I don't need to do that. I'm all cool. You know, the advert basically, like the adverts on TV, used to tell you that spraying some Lynx deodorant was like it. As soon as you sprayed that Lynx deodorant, women threw themselves at you, and you didn't have to do anything else because it was just like it was on. So, you know, when you're a teenager and whatnot and you've been hanging around your mate's house for a couple of days, just playing video games, just doing whatever the fuck you wanted because, you know, I'm a man, I'll do whatever I want, you know, and then after a couple of days, you're like, man, that, that Lynx ain't really, uh, <laughs> that Lynx isn't really covering much anymore, is it? You know, and then you have to stand in like a shower for like three hours, like one of those detox, <laughs> like you see in radiation, uh, radioactive. Uh, fallout shelters. <laughs> Somebody with like a hazmat suit scrubbing you. <laughs> uh, it's it's like I say that to Dylan now. And Dylan's like, I don't want, I don't need a shower, Dad. I'm like, boy, you need a shower. But 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 I'm like, don't just don't but trust me. Just just trust your old dad, okay? Just go wash yourself. Girls love it. They love that smell. They love you smelling clean, fresh. They love you smelling of strawberries, of cucumber, or of coconut oil. They don't care what the fuck you smell of. As long as you don't smell of piss, shit, <laughs> semen, sweat, you know, or moldy cheese. <laughs> yeah, people who spray too much links is too bad. you got to know your limitations, you know. Like, if you sprayed once, like, like you've sprayed once. You don't need to spray for the rest of the day. I'm a big, I'm a big right guard fan myself, actually. Uh, for me, right guard just covers me for 24 hours while I'm working. I, you know, I, I put on like all the works if I'm going out. I get him. That was a motherfucker. I thought that was a kill. No. Right. I need to clean my gun. Can I clean it? I cannot clean it in this mode. Okay. Ah. Right, okay. Uh, need to get my get that out. Yo, I have one of these. Oh, did I get it on there? I did. I got it on that building. Right, I'm going for. Uh, I'm going for the across the street. I suppose rounds. Gonna cover. Get it. Right, that should have. Oh, I didn't kill him, did I? Got him. That was a kill. That was a fucking kill. Got him! Yeah, motherfucker. Eat that. Got you as well. Right, got D. Going for D. We got the D. We have got the D. And I got my challenge. Did I get my challenge? I got my challenge tonight. Nope. Need to kill one more person from cover. Motherfucker. Oh, cover! Go. Oh, you motherfucker. That was a waste. Shit. Come on. Got it. Right, I'm going for E. And I'm on the fire. Take an E. I'm going for E. Take an E. I got my challenge as well. Make sure to get your, your cover challenge. Um, going for going for A. Go. You're on fire, motherfucker. Over the wall. Come on. Like a fucking avenging angel, like a fucking ghost rider. He comes in. Oh shit! Shit! Oh, you're on fire! Oh, and I got killed. If I'd gone with that first shot, that would have been cool. <laughs> oh, finally, I get to watch what we do in the shadows. Oh, thank you, Campbell. Thank you for that. I have been wanting to watch that film for so long, and I just haven't had the chance. And uh, people just don't have it. And I've heard so much good things. There's a fucking TV show about it. It's supposed to be remakes about it. You know. Yes, that's it. That's a definite fucking yes, that one. 
All right, I'm on A. I'm on A. Try and hold the other spots because we, we can complete this really quickly if we can. I'm taking A. Just hold what you've got for the moment, boys, if you can. They're at B. Taking it. Come on. Come on. We can get it. We can fucking smash them. See you later, oranges. What you got now? What you got? Uh, what you got? We got them all, but they're still fighting, actually. Yeah, there we go. Yes, boys. The bowling guy gives off a bit of a social justice warrior scent. Just saying. Oh, do you mean? Oh, you mean Gary? Oh yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, Gary will just fucking. He'll tell you like it is. Like if that bacon's not cooked, he'll fucking tell you it's not cooked. I'm like, what bacon? <laughs> SJW. You know, every time I see SJW now, I immediately think of Sarah Jessica Parker. For and as soon as I see SJ, S, SJW, I think Sex in the City. I don't know why. I think it's because obviously the shortness. So I don't see Social Justice Warrior. I see Sex in the City. It's really fucked up. Um, okay, Brinsley, I got mine. You need to get the hip fire. Okay, we can get the hip fire. It needs to be non-player people. Uh, was Nightmares released in theaters or right to VHS? I think it was released in theaters for a while, and then um, and then um, onto VHS. He tells us how he wants it to be, not how it is. Idealistic social justice warrior for FYI. <laughs> And when people write S J W F Y I, it's like it's for like really lazy. I like just write. <laughs> I know, I know he does. Um, he, he still tells us what he wants, but you should see. But that's why you argue with him. He lo he loves a good argument. Like when his face goes all red, like Ian, will you just fucking shut the fuck up? And I'm like, no. Like. I, I can't help but bring the chaos. <laughs> Gary isn't a social justice warrior. We're all social just, just social justice warriors in our own ways. There's a little social justice warrior in each one of us. Sometimes we don't even know it's there until it's too late, and then we're standing outside of a outside of a blockbuster, holding a sign, you know, that says "Bring back VHS or Betamax or whichever one you want." Um. Right, you need to kill some guys, don't you? So what we need to do is we're going to go on to a story. Quick join a story mission. No. No, 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 no. Because we'll get into somebody's mission and that will shut up. So what I will do is I will set up a mission. And I will set it to... Oh, yeah, let's do... Can we do... You're not honourable enough. Oh, I need to bring my honour up before I can do that one. Ah, it's because I just put it down. Let's do the the Bastards Can Fight. Now, this is the mission that goes before uh, the bank robbery mission. So, this is where we have to steal the carriages. Um, I've Obviously, I've done this one. I don't know if uh, Brinsley and Gary have done this. I know Gary obviously hasn't done this one. But we're... Um, We'll just do it because obviously he needs to get five five kills. Uh, there's one in me right now. It's kind of painful. Yeah, yeah, we're we're all got one in, inside of us. Michael Bornstein, Gary's in the chat. If you want to talk about him, talk to him directly. Yeah, Michael Bornstein, bring it in. <laughs> no, we're not starting it. It's, it's it's you know, it's always good to obviously chat. You know, people are allowed to have their uh, value, their opinion. It's, you know, when somebody starts forcing their opinion or their way of view onto another person and they believe, like, if somebody says, I'm not a social justice warrior and I believe that you're being completely harsh for being a social justice warrior and you're trying to enforce your view upon them as a social justice warrior, are you not yourself becoming a re reflection of a social justice warrior trying to force your, your view onto their view to kind of coincide to have two views? Like, like I, I, you know, I, I don't really get it myself. Like, like I, I've already made my position clear. Like, if you're being a dick, you know, like if you're being a dick, you're a dick. And social justice or not, there's a level of dickishness that people should never go to. 
you've got to know it yourself. You know, like somebody who types a lot into a chat. It's, it's somebody obviously who's just wanting to be heard. And then like, obviously the question is, is obviously have they really got anything to worth listening to? Sometimes the, the answer is no. Sure, there'll be more, but for now, goodbye and good luck. Social justice warriors are idealistic and they are easy to take advantage of and thus defeat. What but why? I mean what is it are you then not just proving yourself to be a social justice warrior wanting to defeat them? You know? Like why does everything have to be a fight? Why does it well, I've always said this because everybody always has a fight with me. Uh, right, boys, before we ride off, okay, regardless of what's going on in the chat two seconds, before we ride off, boys, riding off to Strawberry, okay, there's a there's a um, wagon in Strawberry. I suggest the two of you go to it, because I want to go to the Great Plains. Go to it, but I want you to go to the back of Strawberry. Riding straight through Strawberry, there is a hanging going on, and there are cops everywhere. You will not get into the town. You will get shot to pieces before you get to the wagon. Going round the back, if you kill the guards at the back quietly, you can steal the wagon and ride right out of town without any trouble. Okay? Uh, yeah, Gary and Ian are BFFs. We are bros. Like, fucking bros, dude. So, you be careful with my bro. Um, I'm talking right now. I'm Ian is talking right now, and he's sending off Brinsley and Gary to Strawberry, and I'm heading off to the Great Plains. So... Oh, yeah. Obviously, Brinsley, to get your hit kills, um, once you've got the wagon, just fucking kill everything in sight. Um, and I'm going to head to the Great Plains. I have no idea what's down at the Great Plains. But yeah, I was saying this. Like, people hate my face. Like, I have no problem with that. I've kind of grown up with it over years. People kind of hate my face. Uh, they hate, like, the way I talk, uh, my accent, my views, the way I stand, what I eat, the way I have my hair. They just fucking hate shit. People are just fucking... Some people can be absolute bastards. And I said this a couple of days ago. I'm like, why does everyone always have to fight with me? You know, why, do, why is it always a disagreement? Why does it always have to be a battle? Why does it seem like like what people say? Why does it always seem like there's a social justice warrior in my face every five seconds everywhere I turn? Because everyone just wants to be right. Yeah, Silver Spike, they hate my face. They look at my face and they go, oh, I don't like your face. And I'm like, dude, I don't even fucking know you. So how did you get up off your chair, walk all the way over here and just tell me that? <laughs> you know? But going back to it, I can't deny the fact that everyone's allowed their right to have an opinion and have their say. You can't take that away from people who it's your God-given right, that's why you developed vocal cords in the first place. Because somebody thought it would be a joke to give humans a view. But then if you have to battle with somebody constantly, or you find yourself battling constantly with people about their views and opinions, who is actually in the wrong there? Like, I know I'm not right, but I know I can't be right 99% of the time. Oh shit, Artax, why'd you drop down there? So I must be right at least one, one, one point of time. It's, it's, it has to even out like that. But if you've got people who have to be right all the time, and you believe that you have to be right all the time, because every, because you are right, that's just arrogance. Plain and simple fucking stupid arrogance, you know? And for that, you need a shot in the face and a kick of realism in the ass. Because ultimately, you are going to be wrong one of these days, and you got to be you got to be ready to accept it. It's like winning and losing. Like, I work towards the worst case scenario of losing any game I play because it's just if I win, it's a bonus. So you know, just just work on the case of like be a loser. That's fine. Losers club is cool. And then try to work your way to become a better person. Shit, where's the fucking... Ah, oh, motherfucking horse. Got me stuck. Is 
you know, at the same time, somebody's probably just sat there listening to all that going, Ian, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's like, anything really, because I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, and I'm talking on my chat, so I'll fucking talk about, I'll, I'll fill five minutes of air, and if it means taking the spotlight away from somebody who, I don't know, was maybe trying to be a dick, then that's fine. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, they always say that. There we go. Fucking hell, there's a lot of them. I really should have got you down here, Prince. You could have got your fucking kick guns. I'm hoping it's going well up there. I'm hoping there's no serious repercussions. Fuck you, horse. Ah. In the face. Man, that's the... Fuck it, hell. Alright, can I just... Just gotta... Just gotta chill. I believe my heritage is in jeopardy. I believe that is fair to say. Okay. I mean... If you have to feel like that, you know, if you have to have, like, heritage... And bring heritage into it, then yeah. I don't know how we got that far. Is it wrong that I remain proud, not at the expense of others? No, I do. Um, you can be proud, proud, but be careful. Pride is a sin in a, in a particular way. So you got to kind of balance that out by not only being proud in yourself, but proud in others as well. Even if, even in the smallest thing that others accomplish, even if they only see it as a tiny, tiny. If they, if, if it's something tiny, but it's massive to them, then you have to obviously be proud of them because they've accomplished something that they didn't think they were going to do. See, now, Silver Spike just brought up a good thing there. So you said, well, I'd be tempted to say you're over agony. But no, obviously you were tempted, but you obviously you just said it. So, you know, that is his opinion. And that is obviously Lynn's opinion. And we all have different opinions. It's like North and South, Yin and Yang. You imagine what the world would be like if we didn't have a South Pole. You know, it'd be pretty fucked up. So luckily we have a North and a South to give us the, uh, the uh, balance. I want, to, I want to say balance, the difference, the uh, contradiction. Every dawn has a sunset, you know. Every rose has its thorns, as they say. It's something I've just grown accustomed with over years. Like, I hate everybody. I have no problem saying that. Like, if you come goose-stepping into my house trying to cause me harm, I'm probably going to pop the eyes into the, the back of your skull. I've got no problem saying that. Uh, but at the same time, can't do that just to everybody, so I do have to obviously be balanced and fair and accept people's views. Even if somebody does hate my face or call me a dick or, you know, maybe they hate well, the colour well. of the skin or they just want to like be an know. asshole or whatever. You kind of just go, okay, I accept you're an asshole. That's fine. Well, <laughs> you know. You did it. Good. You got we it got it. We got the mission. Done. We're almost ready. So, meet me in San Denis when you can. See, proud accomplishments as a, a accomplishments as a humanity. You've got to be proud of accomplishments of humanity, and you've also got to take into account all their horrible things as well. Like we can save a human life, but we can also take it too. So that's a massive contradiction on ourselves. We learned to walk, but did we actually stop to know how we run? See, it's kind of good because obviously I'm watching the chat and while I'm playing, I don't actually have to monitor the chat because my boys are on it already. You know, they're, they are just, they can take a look at something and they can say, you know what, let's just, let's just take that away from there because, um, maybe it's getting a little bit too dark. <laughs> this humans. Ian, stop trying to be deep. I cannot help it, Brinsley, I'm sorry, but the human race makes me think that, you know, there was a point where I watched you guys climb out the river and I thought they're not going to make it. And here we are today. You know, we are we are still here today. Obviously, if I still had my powers, I'd be OK. But I got them taken away and I've got to wait for them to come back. So, OK, Blunt Master, did you get your uh, did you get your kill kills? Did you get your uh, off the off the back? Uh, races don't exist. Okay, Lynn, I'm just going to put a stop to that one right there. Let's put a whole stop to the race. There is only one race that it should be, and that is the human race. If we start to try to label everything on a minute level, 
then things start to get really difficult because people have different opinions of everything. There's only one race that occupies the human, uh, the Earth, that is the human race. Um, they do have their differences. They all have their different mutations given to them by a giant fireball sun ball in the sky. Um, some people have different skins. Some people have different hair tones. We should all be proud of who we are individually and have faith in each other's abilities. It's very difficult too because there are some people out there who will cause problems for other people. But if you're willing on actually not allowing that to hurt you, you might actually survive to the end of the day and see the never sunrise. <laughs> so, yeah, you're currently the only horse, ra only race that matters is a horse race. Let's get a horse race on because I want to find a dog and I need to find salmon. So where are we? We are, well, we are quite far away. And we need condors, so we need to head. We need to head to New Austin at some point. Right, Emerald Race, Emerald Ranch. That's where we go. Let's get that on. Um, actually, while I'm doing this, hop, off we go. I need a cup of tea as well because it is getting deep, and shit gets deep, 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 deep on the cup. Go. So I'm going to leave the race between Brinsley and Gary. I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. And I'm going to hope that when I come back, obviously we, um, we've, uh, we have the right attitude, yeah. And I'm back. What did I miss? Are we all calmed down a little bit? 
You know, we're still not on the whole race. The, the whole race thing, are we? Where are we going? So I nipped off for a coffee. Yeah, I did as well. I got a cup of tea. Uh, Brinsley told Lynn to drop it. You sound anti-white. Okay, Lynn. That's a little bit too far. So that's your first strike. Ian got deep. Lynn got weird and people rode horses. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, no, I'm just anti-you. Oh, because your comments were just otherwise. Now, okay, I'm going to just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping in now. I'm sorry, you you, uh, you you brought it. You you brought down the thunder now. Why do you have to be like? Why can't you just be proud to be a human being? Why do you have to be proud to be a color or a sexual orientation? Like you can be that. Like I, the, you know, before you start coming around my house with pitchforks and burning stakes and doing shit in front of my house, you can be you can do whatever you want. But you have to also be willing on being able to do more. Okay. Now I say this as a, as a as a white Scottish redhead. Okay, because when I grew up, where I grew up, I didn't grab a coin pair. I had some malt loaf actually, some sorry malt loaf. It was lovely. Um, where I grew up. Oh well, wait, where do I where? Where are? Oh yeah, uh, right over to the farm. Over to the farm, guy. Keep going forward. Get away from these guys because I don't know who these guys are. And I get kind of wait. Oh yeah, there we are. Uh, Emerald Ranch is there. Yeah, when I was growing up, um, predominantly white neighborhood, you know, and um, I had lots of white friends, shall we say, and I was picked on by those people because of the color of my hair and because of the, uh, because of the freckles on my skin. You know, that was bullying. You know, that's what I grew up with when I was when I was younger. You know, and so when somebody turns to me, and maybe it's just me. You know, maybe I do have a thing against white people. You know, maybe it's just English people. Maybe it's just American people. Maybe I, I, I don't know. It's everybody. I hate everybody now. It's just like a global thing. But <laughs> but when somebody says to me, they go, oh, well, you know. Aren't you proud to be white? You know, I'm like, no, motherfucker. I wanted to be when I was younger, but somebody turned to me and went, oh, I don't like the look of you. I don't like the color of your hair. So I'm going to pick on you and beat on you and do whatever I want to you. Because I honestly, I actually, I actually think I'm better than you. You know? I, I think I'm better than you. And you've got to ask yourself the question, Lynn. Is that what you're actually trying to do? And is that what you're trying to do with this chat? Because you're on strike two. I'm just going to say right now. And if I get the strike three, Brinsley, I want to, I want, it, I want it gone. Lynn, I know you will stand up for what you believe in, uh, believe in, and that's absolutely fine. But when people tell you after a couple of times that you know it's ro uh, just, just to drop it, and trust me, I know this. <laughs> Uh, the Barra HPO just saw your alien free. Good lord, you guys are far too easy to impress. Flick is hot garbage. Okay. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, if you're if you're if you're just trying to tell people that you're just better than them, um, and people are and you're not listening to people. Trust me when I when I say this. I know this from experience that you should just listen to people because you start to turn people against yourself. And though you want people to agree with you, and you can't, you know, it's better that way. Maybe you do have a singular view. I do. I do. I completely agree that some people do have singular views. But if you start shoving it down people's fucking throats or trying to stick it up their fucking asses, they're going to stone cold stunny you into the ground and, you know, you'll become the victim or you'll want to become the victim. And you never wanted to be the victim in the first place. You actually wanted to be strong, though you turned people against you. So, like I said, it's humans, okay? It's it's humans. Humans. Okay? And if you if you look at it from that perspective, yeah, you can be proud to be white, black, um what other skin colours are there actually? Is it just white, black, light pink, you know? Mocha? Like I like like it, it gets so far now, like like do do Puerto Ricans even have a skin colour or are they just like lightly brown? You know, and why do you have to? Why do you have to be? Why do you have to be black or coloured? 
I, it sounds like so 1940s. Like, like, hey, look, there's another human being. Man, don't you just love the color of that human being's skin? I wish I had skin that color. Yeah, but you got yours, and that's what makes you individual and unique. Yeah, I love you too, man. And then we wouldn't have so many fucking wars. <sighs> right, is that it? Can we do, can we just drop it now? Can we just drop it? Can we just can we just go? Um, somebody mentioned Alien Three, and I can't work out if they actually said it was a bad film or not. Um, I Alien Three is a hell of a lot better than Alien Covenant. Lynn, I, I just, I'm just hoping that you, um, you're, you're just taking a chill. Have a cup of tea. Have, just have a cup of tea. Take a sit back. Just carry on watching the video. Me, Brinsley, and Gary, we are looking for, I'm heading for salmon. I've still got two salmon to go, and there was no dog at the Emerald Ranch. So I'm going to go check for another dog, and then if that doesn't happen, I'm going to head down to... New Austin for the Condor. I'm aiming for uh, 12 o'clock today, so I'm on here for um, another hour and a half. So I'll go all fucking day, guys. If after a while you uh, channel host has gone kind of mad, oh Lynn, you definitely not fucking listening then, because if you were if you were fucking paying attention, you'd realise that I was mad long ago, <laughs> and and you're basically they've let the Joker have a joypad and a microphone, so. Yeah, I'll fucking own this. <laughs> I'll fucking own this. You re you really don't want to get into it, like religious and racism talks with me. It's just no. I did say. See, nobody listened. Nobody fucking listened. Humans don't fucking listen. I didn't say, dude. Said I wanted a war. I said that's how we get wars, where people don't agree and people start telling each other that they're proud of their colors and bigger than them. Okay, so you want a war? We'll fucking we'll watch fucking WCW NWO fucking war. Or fucking, what's that film with Jason Statham and Jet Li? Is that war as well? War. Oh, come on, sing it, people. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now. War. Huh. Good God, y'all. What is it good for? Uh, Gary's just shaking his head now, like head in his hands. Like, oh my God, what, what have you done here? It ain't nothing but a heartbreaker. Uh, He's got one friend, and who is it? It's The Undertaker. Ow! I despise. Sorry. I just, I got into that one. I need to escort somebody as well, because I didn't get that fucking escort, did I? Whoa, shit, I'm slipping down. I'm slipping, slipping down. See, now that's a conversation I can get behind. I freaking love Monday Nitro, man. Watch it. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's a conversation I can get behind. I was watching an episode of Monday Night Nitro a couple of days ago. It was Glacier. Glacier. Um, against Joe Tanaka. Now, I don't know if any of you remember Glacier from, from WCW. Glacier was their attempt at trying to cash in on the success of... Of Mortal Kombat. <gasps> There's a lot of salmon. There's some salmon there. I've got no fucking bait either. I didn't pick up any goddamn bait. Um, yeah, trying to cash in on the on the success of Mortal Kombat. Mainly Mortal Kombat, the movie, and Mortal Kombat 3 had been released as well. So they had this martial artist dressed up as Mortal Kombat 3 Sub-Zero. With the red thing on the eye and the outfit, and he even had snow come down in his in, as in his intro. So, night, you know, WCW were putting a lot of money into this guy. Anyway, I watched him have a fight last night with another martial artist called Joe Tanaka, right? And Joe Tanaka was coming down to the ring with the music of Bill Goldberg, you know. Bill Goldberg, you know, the dun, 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 you know, that music. I mean, you've probably all seen the Goldberg music. But here's Joe Tanaka using it at least a year, maybe two, before Goldberg even appears. And I was just like, oh my god, how did, how did fucking Nitro even stay in business some days? You know, people ask how WWE won the Monday Night War. It's because WCW was just shit. Fact. Just fucking fact. Like, I've been watching as many episodes as I can, reliving the, the NWO stuff. 
and over the first couple of the first couple of months, that stuff was gold. That stuff was good. You know, it just it was there. They were just in the back. They were the new. They were DX before DX was DX. And then I'm watching this stuff with the NWO, and they're literally there's like matches going on, and they are just cutting away from the matches. You know, they are just cutting away and. You're not even seeing what's going on in the match. And I'm thinking, you fucking assholes. WWE never did that. If they ever cut in the middle of a match, you had a double feature. Because they wanted to show you the the, the wrestlers going on. As well as what was going on backstage. Because obviously the storylines were there to keep you interested. Not completely just cut to fucking Kevin Nash, Scott Hall and Hulk Hogan sitting on the sofa. Talking about what they're going to do to Macho Man at Halloween Havoc in two weeks. I'm like, I didn't fucking turn, tune in for this. I tuned in for fucking wrestling. Oh, man. It is. Yeah. WCW. And they did lose a lot of it because of, of um, Nash, Hall, and... And, um... Nash, Hall, and Hogan, sorry. Vampiro. I like the concept of Vampiro. Um, but he was, never a, he was never a main eventer. He was barely a mid-carder. Like, successfully-wise... Probably ECW, maybe some in the BCW, but did that, that my free fish? Boom, free sock ice salmon. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. But no, he. It's, it, it does sound kind of bad, but I do obviously. I I see the level that you have to be at in WWE, and I'm like, if you're not at that level or not prepared to get to that level, you're never really gonna outlast. Because they've seen it all, they've dealt with it all. You know, all these legends we talk about, all these guys that obviously, you know, who nowadays are obviously paying the price for what they put their bodies through. It was a it was a way of life, but they had to change that way of life. Catch you later, Campbell. Take it easy. Have a good evening. Is it evening? It's evening for you, isn't it? You're probably just off to play World War Z, actually. Sick, sick man playing World War Z. Right, okay, is there a person down here? What do we got? Condors and dog. Still haven't petted a dog. Oh. Fucking hell. Like, Brinsley, he, he, yeah, he is. He is off to play World War Z. Brinsley, Brinsley, is there a dog up there? I haven't seen a dog yet. I'm waiting for Gary to tell me that there's a dog down by Emerald Branch as well. But he's not yet. Oh shit, no you did not Ninja Chaos, you little fucking prick. Pardon my French. Where is he? Oh Gary, 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 Gary. Keep that level 11 near you, we're gonna fucking own his ass. Brinsley, we're needed. Where did you spawn? Where are you spawnage? Man, no level 11 fucking shoots fucking Gary Nichols for no fucking reason. And doesn't pay for it after. For no reason, yeah man. Oh, Brinsley, there's a dog here. Oh. Right, okay. Brinsley, you stay with the dog. I'm going to get Gary. Motherfucking. That motherfucker. I'll push my horse now. Man. I was, I was in the middle of getting a dog. In the middle of something. Yeah. What do you want What do you want us to do, Gary? Shall we, um, shall we run him out of town? Shall we hog tie his ass and just fucking... Shoot him. Obviously, anything we... Actually, four dogs here. Oh, my God. Keep them there. Keep those dogs there. Obviously, anything we do in town is obviously going to bring the law on us. So, just keep that in mind. Where did you... Oh, shit. I got wolves. I got wolves. Where the fuck were you yesterday, wolves? Fucking... Artex. Artex. There we go. I'm coming, Gary. I just got attacked by wolves as well. See, now this is what you're going to call grief. Like, this guy is going to be... Is he still in town, Gary? Not sure where he went. You know what? He might have done... Oh, no, he's there. He's right down by you. I see him now. He's right there. Ah, he got you again. Got you, motherfucker. Rogue killed your fucking ass. Rode up on you. Right, where's where's my pump action? And I need to clean my guns as well. 
Springfield. Pump action. Show me where your fucking punk ass is. I am in ass whooping mode now, bitches. My friend has not been on here in fucking ages. Tries to avoid trouble as much as he can. And then your punk ass. Yeah? You try it, yeah? Now you're on fire. Gary, he got you again. You're going to have to be a bit more careful. <laughs> pop, um, pop a health thing if you can. I got witnesses. They just saw me just kill that guy for. Well, I, they say for no reason. I got him. Where are you? Explosive rounds. Like, I'm going to one shot your fucking ass. Oh. Bang, motherfucker, you dead. Told you you would be dead. Where did you go? Did you just drop out as well? Did you drop out of the game? Bet not dropped out of the game. Oh, I got cops. I oh, no, I can't go back in town, Gary. I got cops there. So I'm just going to head out to this hill over here. Uh, come out to where the market is. We'll lure him out. Don't head to him. We'll lure him out. Shit, those fucking cops are following my ass. It's because my bounty's up quite high as well. I'm six six dollars thirty. Get away from me! They move so fast now. Yeah, I know, Brinsley. You, you can come down and help if you want. Leave the dogs. I can always come back and get those dogs. Um, it is fun, like the three of us. Ready, go. Like, I would have loved to have seen that guy's face like, I'm going to shoot this guy and me come right round the corner like. Yeah, you want some of this? Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of, mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to get rid of all those. I Some should do a kicking, cooking spree at some point. Get some big game fish. Uh, this ain't worth merch. It ain't worth Sure, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Good enough. Rid of that. Seems everyone Keep the sockeye salmon because break that down for succulent fish anyway. fish meat Seems everyone with a and then these that I ain't got that ah oh, right. right is he gone is that motherfucker gone yeah I don't see him anymore Gary I uh, yeah, actually, the guy's gone, so Gary, stay out of trouble. I'm going to head back up to the dogs. you fringy still got the dogs out there for me. Wait, are you, um... You staying here? Oh, yeah, you're staying here. Okay. I'm going to have to get your gold up so you can get the explosive rounds. You know, fucking see fucking level 11's fucking... Fuck off after those explosive rounds. I said the same thing about Gary's beard a couple of days ago. Like, it had been growing quite steadily. And then I walk around there and I'm like, hey man, you can shave your beard. He's like, yeah. He's like, I couldn't eat cereal. I was like, what? He's like, yep. He said, every time I sat down at my kitchen table to eat a bowl of cereal, he said, my beard would dip into it. And, you know, I had to just shave it because I just wasn't eating any breakfast. I was like, yeah, it happens. It happens. Oh, Bluntmaster, how did you die? <laughs> And will people stop dying? <laughs> how did you how did you die, Brinsley? My game's acting all glitchy, everything's all kinda of slowing down. Right, where's the four? There it is, it's over there. No, he doesn't look like Bill Bailey anymore. It was it was big massive as well. It started he was getting the whole Arthur Morgan look about him. Yeah, Brinsley, how did you die? Did they kill you in there? I wasn't paying attention and the NPCs knifed me. <laughs> Savage. Ah oh, man, would you fucking believe it? The dogs are gone. What the fuck? <laughs> Motherfuckers. You just can't find a dog nowadays, can you? <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Fuck's sake. Right, okay. What am I looking at then? 
I am looking. I just got accused of horse theft. It's my horse. Are you sure it's your host? Are you sure it's your horse? Because sometimes I think that, and then um, and then I realise it's not my horse. Right. Okay. Dog's not there. It's, I'm gonna head down to see if this guy's down here to get escorted. If not, I suggest we head to New Austin and we'll nail those two condors as well. And then we can always just come back up to here. Where to find condors? You can find California condors down in New Austin. There's loads down there. They're, they're like quite common down there. Anybody down here to be rescued? Nope. Nobody down here to be rescued. Okay, right. Is there a fast travel down here? No, there is not. But I can get to Emerald Station. Where's Gary heading off to? Gary seems to be going off on things. So I'm going to... Well, actually, there are no fast travels at all, are there? I'm not seeing any fast travels. So instead, what I may do is I may go to progress. I may put it on a story mission just to drop us into New Austin instead. Because that would probably be the easiest. Um, where would be a good way to get down to or New Austin? There, actually, that'll do. Yeah. That'll bring us right by there. So I'm trying to drop us into a, to, um, a story mission. Just to get us down there quicker, because the fast travels haven't turned up, and it costs us money as well, which is uh, which is bad. See, I don't think WWE is bad at the moment. I think it's, I think you know, things are when you're a fan, you're um, you know, so you have good days and sometimes you have bad days, but you you just go through them. You know, your team can't win all the time, can you? Like if you're a football fan or or a rugby fan, your team's gonna lose. Um, the difference with WWE is you don't really have a team. You have lots of lots of individual players all playing differently, and the match the match itself might not be great, but you know they still put on the effort. <laughs> oh, what WWE has gone? Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> no, it's gone PG. It's gone PG, so it can work on TV because, well. TNA haven't got a TV TV deal. AEW don't have a TV deal. New Japan Pro Wrestling don't have a TV deal over here. Uh, WWE, WWE owns the where the wrestling entertainment rights for North America and most of Europe simply because of the friendly product that they can give out to people. And I prefer it that way. You're I would rude. rather my son grows up li I mean, liking somebody I'm sorry. like Finn he Balor than giving me away. the finger. Shut you know, because I've watched but old please, episodes of Raw and SmackDown. And when you've got eight-year-old kids giving you me. two middle fingers, oh, you, it's funny. Keep but but you then got to take that kid home. And, and that kid's going to be doing it at home to I'm his grandparents. And it's not so funny then. And so guess who gets blamed for it? The company. You know? You a moron, partner? Huh? <laughs> you can't be Man, I look so pimp compared to the both of you. Because this idiot. AEW has a TV right deal. Uh, Just let the most uh, notorious when it when if it shows and it la when if when it shows if it shows and when it lasts longer than five years, now, then I'll be like, yeah, AEW has a TV deal. Getting back for us. We'll have you to know pay TNA you. TNA TNA yeah. have a fucking TV deal, you know. <laughs> So yeah. let them be, let AEW beat Good. TNA we'll first, then figured. we'll talk. Then they can try and take figured. on ECW's reign, WCW's reign, and then maybe get to uh, WWE's level. But as long as they don't hurt themselves too much, you know, as long as they're not doing nothing, anything too bad to themselves, because if they do, fuck, you're just going to run out of stars real quick. I mean that chair shot that um, they, you know, that chair shot that they dropped on uh, Cody Rhodes. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. They did break out a middle finger on Raw, you know, with Kofi Kingston. That was great. And he said, "Holy shit!" as well. That's Paul Heyman because Paul Heyman's obviously behind it at the moment, isn't he? 
Yes, Matt. I, I totally agree with Matt. AEW is getting way too much praise too soon. Let's see how long it goes long term. Yes, exactly. That's exactly where I'm. I've got all the faith in them as stars, but they've got to be able to go it long term. Um, I'm coming, guys. I'm just obviously cleaning my guns. Masquerading as lawmen. Look at these two. Oh, look at these two killing, killer ass motherfuckers. Gary, I see Gary fired the first shot. It's because he evil. That's an evil, evil man there. He will shoot a man cold. Oh, oh, that guy. That guy. Oh, in the face. Okay, dropping down the slope. I'll, I'll carry the guy. Because, well, I mean, you guys need to level up. So. But I will get some money. I need the money. I need the money. Have you ever heard of Wrestling Site X? It was based here in the States. Not sure if it's still around. Uh, I hadn't heard of it, no. But I have, obviously, I've heard of lots of, lots of the little different, lots of the little different companies. Like uh, CZW. Um, and fucking... I'm, well, I mean, saying that, AEW still needs to beat Ring of Honor. You know? I mean, Ring of Honor are big time. Like, they rival WWE sometimes. Not in TV deals, but just in uh, pay-per-views and, and level of matches. Maybe maybe not. Maybe up there with No Japan Wrestling. I'm not too sure. And so when it, when people go, oh, have you seen AEW? I'm like, yeah, let's, 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 give, them a, let's give them a bit of time first. Yeah, Gary does have a bit of a ZZ Top thing going on there, doesn't he? Or is it us? Us, us as the group, ZZ Top. Here they come. <laughs> right. You guys got the whole of the work. Huh? <laughs> you know. That's a horse. Uh, bang. Oh, oh, he's going to slip. Oh, get the rock. Oh, the rock hit him in the head. <laughs> Or I imagine the rocket. Motherfucker shot me. Gary, I saved your oh Brinsley, I saved your life then. That guy almost had you. Taking it so cash. I played a, I played at this level a couple of days ago, um, at the weekend, and somebody actually tried to carry the guy on the back of a horse. <laughs> you, you just don't. Because every time you get around this corner, dynamite goes off and it scares the horse, and the horse drops the guy, and it's a pain in the ass. But it always fu it's always funny when you see low levels um, trying to get through here as quickly as possible, because they just want the money. It's like, no, you got to put the work in as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Blah. Your horse is being spooked. Really? What horse? Let's get the semi on back this way. We're not friends. Oh, in the chin. That guy got it in the chin. And in the ear. So we watched Miss um, Marvel last night. Two, is it two weeks now? Or is it next week? I think it's next week. Endgame is out, so I'm massively looking forward to that. You know, I enjoy Miss Marvel. You know, not not on the simple fact that Brie Larson looks amazing in that uniform. I mean, like, I know they were going with their let's not over sexualize her, but when her hair looks so good every shot, and she's floating in that like yellow and white light, and I just know that she could probably punch my head off without even thinking. I'm like. Yeah, um, ca yeah, Captain Marvel. Sorry, yeah, Ms. Marvel is the elastic girl from, uh, from Avengers. Oh, you should. There we go. That, that bullet should have fucking killed you. Um. Yeah, I mean Jude Law. It was fun. I mean, like I said, it's not not amazing. I'm, I mean, the, the film obviously isn't absolutely amazing. I'd still watch Ragnarok over it. But it's just. You know, it just sits really nicely into the story. It fills it. It fills that gap. 
that we kind of needed. Um, and at the same time, I was saying this to the wife last night, with us not getting a Black Widow, which in fairness would have been difficult to do because she is just a she is just a cold-blooded assassin. So we're just looking at Atomic Blonde, basically, aren't we? With her going around killing people. Getting a Captain Marvel movie kind of ticked the boxes of... Um, you know, because we didn't have an all-female film, did we, at that point? DC, DC rocked it with Wonder Woman. In which, I will honestly say, I prefer Ms. Mar uh, Captain Marvel over Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is good. I do like Wonder Woman. But I prefer... Uh, Captain Marvel. I just think it's a better movie. Morning, Paul. Hey up, Michigan. Oh, Christ. Better drop this guy, because I'm dying over here. Um, pop my, uh, ah, slept. I need to get my food up. Yo, where's my guy? Yo, I walked this last bit all on my own. You know, carrying this guy all on my own. Doing all the work. God, guys. I, yeah, I would prefer it. I take any of the Marvel movies over anything that has Aquaman. You know? Like, somebody even said to me, they said, oh, you know, Captain Marvel was just there to get the geeks all happy, you know, get a girl in an outfit to make her sexualized. And I said, and I was just like, really? You, you want to back that fucking argument up? And he's like, well... You know, isn't it the case in that all the Marvel movies are okay, but that Miss Marvel, that Captain Marvel was fucking just there to get all the girls behind it, which I'm like, yes, and it was there to make the guys actually like the girl, whoever she is. And I just turned and I was like, and you get rich. Have you even seen Aquaman yet? Yeah, I loved it. I was like, I'm reformed. What was Jason Momoa in that movie then? You know, other than a giant wet dream. Have a heart. Because that's basically what he was, you know. Don't be a fool. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, somebody said refuse. Oh, leave it to the last seconds. You know the films were okay, but yeah, just it—it it was just so much of Jason Momoa being wet. He wasn't even a good Conan, ladies and gentlemen. You know. Aquaman is badass. Don't get me wrong. Aquaman the superhero is badass. The film, not so much. The film was DC's attempt at trying to control the underwater nature of... Uh, hey, Alan. Alan. Uh, the underwater nature of superhero movies. Why do you think we've not got a Namor movie? Namor is one of the first Avengers. You know, he should be there. He should be in the background of every fucking Marvel movie we've had over the last 10 years. But he's not, because contractually they don't want to clash with DC, who already technically own the rights to an undersea dweller. What is it, huh? You stupid? Are you too good? To Superman and DC. Yeah, super see, see, Superman and Captain Marvel would be a great fight. Though, I, I, I think Cap, I think Superman would win. Simply because of the obviously the um, sun's rays. If Captain Marvel could pull him away to another part of the galaxy, then Superman would be severely weakened, um, and Captain Marvel would still have the advantage. Uh, whoa! Shit in hell! Uh, almost killed us all. Yeah, I like Namor, but at the same time, how do you sell a guy who's got magical wings on his feet and has like? Practically every, well, practically all the superpowers that Superman has. You know, they need to, they really should establish him in Fantastic Four first and then have him come back as a good guy because that would be okay. Uh, but obviously, with the rights for Fantastic Four still held up and being held hostage, then that's all fucking. It's just, it's just crazy. Good. It's Real just crazy. Good. Look, put him up on my horse there. But no, what was I saying? Um, end game in a, in a, in a week and a half. Again, your I, um, what am I thinking about the new um, Quentin Tarantino movie? I am excited about it. I'm excited to watch it because I've already read it. Um, it looks good, though it's it's kind of a bit like Inglorious Bastards kind of based on real uh, historical events with just Quentin Tarantino's twist on how he
he'd prefer it would have ended. So I don't know how I like that. Like I liked Inglorious Bastards. Um, I'm just watching Brinsley and Lynn just go at it. Like there's some, I don't know if there's some sexual tension there between the two of them. <laughs> Also, Superman isn't even human, so you're just wrong. Well, technically, he... You no, know, he's technically not a human, but he does kind of consider himself an Earthling because, obviously, it's his home planet. He can't really consider... He is a Krypton, but Kry Krypton doesn't exist anymore, does it? It was blown up, so... <gasps> Condor! Condor! Oh, look at that! <laughs> like, I got myself my Condor. Oh, but I fucking shot it with an explosive round, so I can't fucking... Oh, I can pluck it. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yay, I plucked it. I shouldn't use that explosive round now. You guys got to be a lot quicker on those condors, you know that? Turn that off. Right, so there's condors all over the place, so all we really have to do is just kind of roll around. Uh, roll around? Roll around in the mud with each other. Um, ride around looking for some. So, if I set a marker for us to go... Where can we go? Let's head up to Fort Mercer, actually. We'll see if there's a dog up there so I can pet it. I mean, actually, at the same time, you guys can ride around. I mean, I mean, I know Gary's got... Um, Gary doesn't worry about the challenges. So if you see any condors, Gary, um, just shoot them, slap them on your horse, and then I'll pluck the fuck out of them. Yeah, now it rains. <laughs> in the desert. I like it when it rains in the desert. I do get that overwhelming feeling like the heat's been broken. You know, the, the heat's just been break, broken, so the spell, so you know, tensions can rise again. It's all the heat in the air, all the all the all the heat in the air. <gasps> no, Brinsley, language, Brinsley. Superman is the original superhero. His legacy isn't being threatened. Calm your tits, Lynn. Now that's a bit out of order, Brinsley. I mean, you could have just, you know, just not ended with that one. So I will call you out on that one. I would never, I would never ever say to a woman like, "Calm your tits." That's if Lynn is a woman, so we don't, we're not entirely sure. I'm hoping you are a woman, Lynn, um, and not just some guy pretending to be a woman, because that would just be weird. Uh, there's smoke up there, so that could be a fort. Um, we're gonna go past. I don't know how we've got into this. I didn't say his legacy was threatened. It doesn't have to be threatened in order to state the fact that they will last longer. Um, Superman's legacy might last longer than Captain Marvel's, but it will forever be tainted by how it has been maintained, I believe. I mean, Captain Marvel only has one film underneath her belt, and people didn't, people weren't exactly happy with it. Superman's got fucking, what, six? Seven? Clear throat. Oh, Silver Spike's a woman. Oh, hey, Silver Spike. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so, so, Brinsley, calm your tits. <laughs> yes, yes, calm your tits. <laughs> Lynn can be a guy's name too. Can it? What's Lynn short for? I mean, what would what would what would Lynn be short for? Leonard? Are you a Leonard? Are you a Leonard? Or I, I yeah, I like I said, I, it's 2019. I get real confused over who can be what nowadays. Like yesterday, I wanted to be free, but today I realised I'm still shackled to this mortal coil. Uh, right, there are no fucking dogs up here. And no, I haven't seen a another condor. But I do see smoke in the distance. So I could head for that. Where to? Where would be another place for marker? Um, the T? That could be a... That, I think that's an eagle. I think there's an eagle at the T there. I might head up to Rochella Fork. So there might be one up there. So I'm going to get my horse out. I don't mind using, people using the words tits. Uh, yeah, I know guys named Lynn. So what was it, what's Lynn short for? Yeah, I mean, or is it just Lynn? Because I've, like, like I've never, like, I've never heard Lynn used in other, in any other context other than, obviously, um, uh, a, a female name. So, that's the kind of world that we live in. <laughs> Uh, I, I, you know, I'm segregated, I suppose. Kept behind, you know, I'm just forced into the, the darkness and not allowed to shine into the light. 
Oh, I'm gonna break into song now. Some people stand in the darkness. Come on, you know the words. Afraid to step into the light. Okay, who's riding slow? Who's running slow now? Some people think to have somebody. Blam, motherfucker. That looked like it hurt. Oh, that hurt even more. Did you see that? That fucking shit splat all over the rock. I don't know the rest of the words. Oh, don't you worry. It's gonna be alright. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit, my bullet. Why am I. There we go. Oh, fucking hell. That guy came out of nowhere. As I'm always ready. Fire, fire, fire. Ah, oh, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dying, man. I'm fucking dying. I'm bleeding out. <coughs> bleeding on for Lin Manuel is a guy. He's in the new Mary Poppins film. Oh, see, I uh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Uh, reminds me of that scene where Joey asked Ross what Ross is short for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, I didn't know. That. I didn't know that. Like I've known like three Lins in my time, and they've all been female. It's just, you know, it's just strange though what, what you can do with a name, isn't it? Like, I always found it weird that Bob is short for Robert. You know? Like, how, how you know, what, how did taking away the R make you decide that putting a B there was a better idea? Like, Chuck, I can get Chuck. Like, Chuck and Charles are, you know, fine. Um... William and, you know, like Richard and Dick, you know, like who stood there and went, hey, instead of calling you Will, I'm going to call you Dick. Blah, oh man, oh, you know what, come here, go here, hog tie, uh, I've got to keep an eye out for condors. I guess it doesn't seem high enough. Like, where's my horse? Hey, Gary. Oh shit. Wait, I just saw this smoke. Like, I'm, I'm still looking for condors, but I just saw this smoke. Um. Now the question everyone has been waiting for: Is there a creator? Oh man, Star Trek: The Motion Picture. We are Vijer. We are here to see the creator. We must talk to the carbon life form known as Kirk. Everybody knows the God Emperor is there. <laughs> yeah, you're called Ian and you're a, called a dick all the time. <laughs> yeah, I am a god. I am I am a god. I, I created life with my wife. So um, technically under mortal laws, creating life means that I have godlike powers. So technically that makes me a god. Oh, Brinsley, really? Brinsley, did you have to come back with that? You knew when you were typing that, Brinsley, you knew that that was going to open doors. You know, so that's why I'm going to jump right in on that one right now. And, yeah, technically he is right. God is Alanis Morissette or whatever it wants to be. But you wrote that knowing. <laughs> you would have. You knowing that you were going to jump into that one. Um, like, is it is it time? Is it really? Oh, look at that beautiful. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Like you can't get, like you can't get better than that shot, can you? It was like I was saying yesterday, Lynn. I mean, you know, really to you know, when people say you can't perceive like God or like a creator, and yet you look at a sun like that giant flaming hydrogen ball in the sky, but your brain perceives it. Doesn't that make you a god? You know, you're able to see such an awesome power at once without your mind exploding or your, you know, your, like your heart exploding out of your chest. And you gotta, you know, that, that's, that's what I've always kind of stood for. At the same time, you're talking to the guy who believes in the God Emperor of mankind, you know, the guy who creates space marines and gives us all Terminator armor and storm bowlers. So I'm good with that. Um, I also believe in the, um, the monkey king, Sun Wukong, you know, that is a, he is a god. He, he, he ate 
all of the fruit and drank all of the potions in the, the great emerald garden of heaven. So, like, he's undefeatable. The guy was underneath a rock as well, um, underneath a mountain for 500 years. When you can go for that, you can, you, you're able to do anything. What's that? Is that a condor? Is that a condor? I think that's a condor. Uh, it's a California horned owl. God damn it. Right, okay. How are we doing for condors, boys? I wish Alanis Morissette was waiting for me when I die. Man, I loved, I fucking fell in love with her when she had her braided hair. Like, I think it's in the video, um, One Hand in My Pocket. The way her hair was in that, that was gorgeous. I fell in love with her then. And then, obviously, I loved Ironic. I own the Jagged Little Pill album. And then I watched her in Dogma. And I was like, this girl is amazing. I love Alanis Morissette. But at the same time, I also, like, like her and Cheryl Crow when I was younger. Oh, like Cheryl Crow is disgustingly sexy. Like her and the last March set were my, my go to girls when I was younger. Um, Stevie Nicks though. Go for some Stevie Nicks. On the edge of seventeen. What's that? Crows? Those look like ravens. Western Raven. What's that? Western Raven. When you're looking for a condor and you can't find it. Find a plate and spin it. Yeah. Where is my mind? Love that song. Where is my mind? Oh shit. Where is my mind? Oh, Artex, you're not critically injured. You're just slightly hurt. Right, so how, how are we doing with the challenges today anyway? So we've got one more condor to get. I've escorted two people and I didn't get that. And we had a chance to get four dogs and we never got that, so... So we are not doing too badly. I want to say we are doing well, but I don't know if I really should put all my faith in that much faith in myself. Raven, is that a raven as well? That's a Western Raven. That looks like ravens. When you get them in pairs, they look mainly like ravens. You never get a condor in, in a pair. Yeah, Western Raven. What's that? Western Raven. I don't really think you're gonna get a condor at night either. Hmm. How are we doing on time? Twenty past twelve. Twenty past eleven. Sorry. Yeah, you say poor old Artex, but I I do take a lot of care of him. He gets all the best food. He gets all the best horse revivers. You know, it's rarely that I actually will let him die. And if he does die, I am going straight to the place to get. Um, to get him healed up because he's like the best horse. Um, there's nothing up here either. Usually there's a fucking bird up here. There is nothing. I am not Siren. Uh, Gary, why did you call him Martex? Um, I, oh, I'm not Gary. I'm the better looking one. I'm Ian. And I named him Martex because obviously, um, never ending story. <laughs> yeah. Never. Artex was a fucking awesome horse in Never Ending Story. And he always just seemed to be able to, you know, when you watch a Treyu ride Artex across the plains, you know, and you hear that music. Yeah, let's get the music going. Yeah, gotta love it. Uh, do you guys play online competitively? I. Uh, I, I do, I mean, I do like playing online competitively, um, but I won't, I don't like going too far. Yeah, I'm not finding any condos at the moment, there's nothing up there. I just tried that fort. Um, who's this? Brinsley? Right, okay. Let's, let's see, let's get, let's get, let's head down here. Let's get a race on, because... I do need to get that dog one. I do want to get that dog one. So might head back up to uh, the fort and get that there. Um, but yeah, no, comparatively, I was playing Doom a lot when that came out. Um, because, like, you can get too addicted to a game. You can get, like, really fucking behind it and it gets too bad. Especially online competitive games where, you know, like, like I said earlier about people being proud. They, 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 um, 
they always like to think that they're the best. You know, like fucking Cry Kid. You're the best around. Um, but you got to take the wins with the losses. If you keep getting fucking pissed off when you lose, then you're not enjoying the wins too much. You're just you're just expecting it to happen. So like, when I play online, I don't care if I lose. You know, other people are like, oh god, you're not very good because you kept losing. I'm like, well, you you learn from your mistakes. It's the only way I can learn the map is if I'm running around again, shot by that same guy in the sniper position, because, well, <laughs> I didn't know there was a sniper position there. So, um, oh, I'm right on your ass, Gary. I'm right on your ass. No, oh, I need to go. Of course he got it. Of course he got it. He won the race. Um, I used to, but I figured internet connection speed would never be the best in compared to those who spend ten thousand pound a month on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. They and they and I realized after a while it makes it it doesn't matter. You know, people are still playing like uh, Counter Strike Go nowadays and all the older games, but they're not as they're not as needed, they're not as. So you did good with that thing. They're not as watched as anymore, could, is, are they? You know, they, come on, they just move on to another. They just move on to another game. You know, Fortnite becomes the next game, or Black Ops Four becomes the next game, or Titanfall Seven, or Red Dead Redemption, or it's just all the different, all the different stuff. So, so I try not to do too much of it. I only, I only. I'm wanting it. You just won't friggin' give it to me. Um, I only play the competitive games that I want to play. You know. Sheriff, really? Okay, well, I'm going out of town then. I'm, I'm going to walk out. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, so, like, when Doom comes out, I'll be fucking getting on the, the multiplayer for that bad boy. And playing that. Um, but, anything else? I'm not really fussed about. Like I, I find it really difficult for people to play fighting games online, like over the internet. Like it's hard enough for me to play a fighting game with, when I'm in the same room as the person because I still think that the game's cheating me or the joypad's broken. Um, but doing it online, you know, when somebody's in like another country with a better internet speed, you, you are bound to get some losses from that motherfucker. Like you swear, you swear you shot that guy first, or you punched him first. How come it? How come it didn't register? Like an internet confuses me as well. Like internet should like be the same and be free for everybody. Like I don't understand why we have to pay a company for internet when we should. Oh shit! When it should just be given out freely. You know, like medical care. Like here's medical care. And your your copy of the uh, internet. Thanks, man. Okay. Whoa, 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 Gary. Whoa, whoa, whoa Gary. Before you start firing, let's um. Let's start from the outside and work our ways in. Oh, he's 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 viewing over this. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Throw knives. I should have got my bow. Where is he? Too far? Too far. He is too far away. There's two of them. Right. Well, I'm going to spread out. Let's try and... um. Let's get the wagon quietly. around. Oh, I love doing stealth missions like this. Pup. I love going all Metal Gear Solid. Right. Oh, somebody moved right up close to him, didn't they? Okay. I didn't bring my bow, so I haven't got my bow. Okay, it's gonna go loud. Nice. Finish him. 
Nice. Man, those guys did not even see it coming, did they? <laughs> they were they were dead before they even knew. Oh, come on, game, come on! I want to just grab this, loot this guy. Ah, and his body disappeared as well. Ah, what the fuck are you doing up there? Oh, what? There we go. Okay, I got the wagon. You guys get the gold. We lost the Gary. We have. We have lost a Gary. The Gary is gone. Uh, do you believe Europe has better internet? Um, I don't even know how that shit works. Like, you know, I grew up with, you know, dial-up speed. So anything that just happened to fucking go quicker than that was, was always better. I hear the Chinese have great internet. Restricted, but they still have good internet. <laughs> I, I honestly, like I said, I, I don't know. People talked upload speeds and download speeds to me and fucking all that stuff, and I'm like, look, does it does it work or not? Yes, thanks. You know, I suppose I would love to learn the technical sides of it, but, but it changes so frequently and so quickly that you know what you do know today is going to be outdated tomorrow um, but then again even though it's outdated it's probably the better version than what you actually have because the other one that you got is just more streamlined oh crap in my gun in my gun I almost shot the horse right in the ass there who's this motherfucker uh, Brimsley He'll come after this wagon. Oh, I went two wheels then. Oh, I went another two wheels. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spin the wagon in a minute, aren't I? So I'm guessing Gary's lost his internet. Because <laughs> he's not even on the Discord or in the chat. Or maybe he just left. Maybe he was just like, you know what? Fuck Ian. I hate his face. I hate his face. Can't hate my face. I have a face only a mother can love. The alien queen mother. <laughs> I have a face only a mother could love. A motherfucker. Uh, gotta make jokes about yourself. If you can't joke about yourself, then um, what gives you the right to joke about other people, I suppose? If I can call myself a motherfucker, I can call you a motherfucker too. <laughs> Ah, yes. America has bad internet because it's so big. Middle America has really poor service because of that. Yeah, well, in America, obviously, they're still working on the two cans and a string um, action in some some parts of the country, aren't they? That must be difficult. Oh, there he is. Oh, he needs a posse invite. He needs a posse. Ian, can you put a camp down in New Austin? Um, yeah, well, I, I will, but what actually what I'll do... No, actually, yeah, we, we do need to do that, don't we? We need the... Um, invite the posse. Hunter... AEQ. There we go. I can't believe I have to send posse invites out to you guys. I should just be able to join straight into it. And I will put a camp... Set camp location... In... Small camp... In New Austin. In Gap to Ridge. And there we go. Right, okay. I did put one in. I did put one in camp. Rich tonight. Oh, okay then, game. Just don't do that then. Don't do as I ask. Camp. Yeah, camp location. Small camp. Gap to Rich. Right, I want to say I want to, Brinsley. I want to say yes to put a camp in, but for some reason the game is not. So, what I'm going um, to... I need condors. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come back for the condors. I'm going to head to Tumbleweed, uh, head to Valentine. I'm going to head up and see if I can get a look for those dogs. I'm going to see if actually moving will actually change the camp. Because I can't even get the camp to um, spawn up at the moment either. 
which is kind of annoying because we need a camp to do our stuff. Um, I gave up Netflix because it kept interrupting my movies, TV shows with so Sarah Jessica Parker commercials. Wow, that's a lot of Sex and the City. Amazon is about to do the same, but maybe a little better. I am jealous that you guys have a different content than us. <laughs> yeah, well, we kind of are jealous of the content that other people get. I, I fucking hate the fact that we have to have different shit to everybody else. You know, like America has their shows and the UK has theirs. You know, Europe has theirs. It's all about the money making, isn't it? It's all about the ownership <coughs> and the control that they need to have over people. Um, but then again, weirdly enough, people get used to the comfortability. And so you start introducing something new into the environment there and it might get rejected very quickly and you might lose more than you actually plan to gain the first time around. It's a very weird process. I mean, I was saying it last week. It's like Stranger Things. I think Stranger Things has done so incredibly well. Not just because of the idea of the story and the performances that it pulls off. Um, but also the fact that it's streamed, so it's not on TV. Um, it's... Um, all the episodes are released at once, so you're not waiting around for them. There's no adverts in the middle of them for the actual uh, anybody to advertise anything through them. All you're getting is just a pure TV show given to you. Whoa, whoa. Where the fuck were you guys yesterday? Hey, need the wolves yesterday, bitch asses. Yeah, you're just getting a pure. TV show given to you. Like, like, Game of Thrones could have lasted a bit more longer with that, but obviously they were Sky Atlantic, they were broken up into seasons, you had their TV adverts, and now it's just sellouts after sellout of like, oh, like I get it on my Facebook, like, hey, guess what? There's a fucking Game of Thrones game you should play. It's awesome because you get to play as Sansa Stark. Yay! And do what? Well, nothing to do with the show. You just, you just, you just get, you just can play as her. It's a dog! Yay! I'm not gonna shoot this one, Max. Come on, dog. Yeah, motherfucker! Come on, cut it. Ah, come on. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, boy. Good boy. You are, you are good. Who's a good? Yeah, there's, all the dogs are up here now, Princey. Oh, one's taking a shit. There's a dog taking a shit. Oh my god, look at that. Look how detailed that dog is taking a shit. It's squats and everything. That's a really long shit that dog's taking. Like, he looks like he's in pain. I'm sorry, I get distracted in this game. I'm sorry, guys. You're probably down there trying to get condors and shit, and I'm up here trying to work out if this dog's in pain or not. Boy, do you, like... Like do you, yeah, do you need a pat? You need a pat just to just to break that cycle, don't you? Because <laughs> you look like you were in some immense pain then. The uh, trouble is, you drop a series all at once. I end up binge watching, which is bad for me. You end up getting through it all far too quickly. Because I have so no self, no self control. Yes, that is true, Silver Spike. But now it's out the way. You've kind of fed that animal inside you now, haven't you? You know, you can sit there and wait for the next series. And if you need to feed that monkey on your back, you've always got the uh, season one and two to go back to because you know that you know you're building up to season four. <laughs> I see. I can't binge watch shit. I mean, I, like I need. I, I I love watching TV, and if I if I'm just lying there, I, I will just fucking watch shit. But you know, sometimes I just I have to get up. I have to move around. I have to do something else. And I get bored. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds like drug abuse. <laughs> yeah, you go. Well, we've all got that monkey on our back. Like I said, uh, fast travel. Where's the fast travel going, motherfuckers? The guys that are still down in New Austin. They are still down in New Austin. Where is it? Is that the. That is the Gary. Gary is in the saloon getting drunk. And where is the Brinsley? I do not see the Brinsley. Did he leave as well? 
No, he's still down there. I just can't see him down there. Where are the fast travel? I need a fast travel marker. So I got my dog petting. I got that. Um, I've got one more person. To, I've got a person to escort, which I think is just being fucking pain in the ass today. Like, I rescued two people, and both those motherfuckers didn't count. Like, where, where was that other one? Because I was riding, wasn't I, with <coughs> that guy earlier. Mishka, or whatever his name was. Musa. Mustafa, that's right. Mustafa. Love watching DSP, worst gamer ever so much, so it's great fun to watch him complain. DSP. Uh, oh, Ian, did you ever watch DSP for content ideas? No! All my, all my ideas are like a Subway sandwich. Fresh and created that day. Because I never think further than my stomach can handle. Um, Gary, will, Gary will back me up on this. I don't watch anybody else. I don't really have the time and patience either. I kind of get annoyed with people. You know, you know me and people. People. I don't really people people. Not people people people. <laughs> um, no, what was I saying? I, I would watch stuff, uh, but I never get behind things like that. I'm more of a, you know, if I'm going to watch it, why don't I just do it myself kind of thing? You know, so I don't watch film reviews. I might as well just watch the film myself or look into it myself. Um, YouTube, I, I really only use YouTube for obviously Off the Shelf um, and Death Battle. Letter Kenny, oh my god, I'm so glad you brought that up, Lynn. Uh, is that the one with the Canadians? Um, I'm pretty sure, did I watch the one episode of the Canadians where um, they were throwing catch ball to each other? They're just throwing ball, this ball back to each other, back and forth. And one of them mentions about, um, like, sticking something up his ass, pleasuring himself with something up his ass, and they just stop. They just completely fucking cut him out of the conversation and ignore him. I think that's Letter Kenny. My friend, my friend Tom was talking about it. Fuck days ago. I think that was what he was talking about. We were drinking at the time, so. Uh, you should watch people edit his. Edit you should watch people edit his bits into this is how you don't play vids. Um, yeah, I should. Editing takes a lot of work though. It takes a lot of work out of me. So I'm I'm more of a free-flowing kind of guy. Me, yep, buddy, friend. <laughs> You're stood next to Gary. That's why I can't see you on the marker because the two of you are fucking there. Um, Yo, know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy of, I'd rather just, you see the mistakes right there and then. Because it's honest, it's true, and it's honest. You know, taking it out, shortens the video, and then makes another video, which just seems to, just seems to be a lot more work. It's a lot of work there. Um, where are you both? You are, oh, you're riding up the road. Are we still looking for condors? Because I just need one more condor. I need one more condor, see? I don't see any birds. I came back. What's, what's that there? Oh, oh. oh, it's just a chimney pot. I just see a chimney pot up there. Oh, what did you just nail? Did you nail a condor for me? He did nail a condor. That's it. Good guy. That's a good Gary. I uh, like me a good Gary. Alright, okay. I just need one more. I got one more to do. Yeah, Gary just found a condor, Brinsley. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I got my two. Okay, I got my two. So, we need to find you your two. I've only got one more to get, which obviously is the escort somebody. So, while we are down in New Austin, let's have a ride around, shall we? We'll ride down here literally these things will just spawn so if we just ride around new austin hunting shit killing shit taking money to the butchers and just doing whatever we want for the next 20 minutes because i just realized it's 20 to 12 where did the morning go go cockerels fucking cockerels what time is it like cockerels those are the worst fucking animals to find on challenges 
I shit you not. Like, I only know of one cockerel on, in the fucking heartlands. I only know of one. Oh, garage is now something. What a garage is now. Oh, he's shooting foxes. Right, okay, I'm gonna ride down to that marker, and while I'm riding, I'm going to shoot every fucking, or every bird I see, which begins with a C. Any bird that can some kind of starts with a C gets shot in the face. Well, my boy Brinsley. This is where all the birds hide now. They're like, fuck, take cover, here comes Ian. He's fucking gonna kill everything. Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah, I heard that was it. supposed to be a good show. Um, obviously the droll humor, the droll dry humor. It's like everybody at the moment's obviously on, um, still going on about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You know, that's that's a big thing at the moment. I'm like, yeah, Andy Samberg though. You know, I suppose part of me, Andy Samberg is like uh, Adam Sandler to Gary. Like, I don't know, there's something about Andy Samberg's face that I just kind of, just want to spit in. <laughs> like, I, like, I would not be surprised if Andy Samberg is the genetically cloned son of Adam Sandler. You know? Like, like Adam Sandler knew his film career was dying, so he genetically created his own son. And then, they did a film together, obviously, didn't they? Um, that's my boy. Was it That's My Boy? Chinese ringneck pheasants. Ow, oh, you fucking... Motherfucker can't hit that pheasant. So save my fucking life. I saw pheasants. I've not seen... Uh, the guy who plays his buddy in Brooklyn Nine-Nine is great. <laughs> You've been playing City Skyline, which is a time machine, as a game from anyway. Yeah, see, the, it, it just flies by when we're playing, when we're just doing our thing, you know. What is it? That's a lot of songbirds. Look at all those Scarlet songbirds. The smaller birds are the worst ones to get when they fly past, because you never, you don't actually see them. So, what's that there? I see one bird on its own. And I'm Hunting that motherfucker down. What's that? Uh, it looks like a crow. It looks like a raven. Looks like it's. Yeah, Western Raven. Western Ravens. Through the cactuses. Western Raven. They do just spawn a lot. I just heard gunfire. Somebody shoot one. What's that? Western Raven. Scarlet Songbird, Raven, look, where did that fucking four squadron of ravens come from? Shit. Um, condors. Got a convoy of condors. What's that? Western turkey vulture. Nope, don't want that. Actually, I might as well just pop that down so we don't get confused by it. Andy Samberg's movie Hot Rod is, is funny. <sighs> I know, and that's that's probably the thing as well. It's kind of like I said with the whole, the whole fucking Adam Sandler like with Garrick. Like I do find him funny. Like Hot Rod was funny, um, but then the, like I said, he's just got that face that I'm just like, <sighs> maybe he's just too funny. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I'm jealous of his superiority of comedianism. You know. He's there on the head of a show like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, loved by millions and wanted by Adam Sandler. And, you know, I can't even get Adam Sandler to return my calls. I think that's actually, that's actually why Gary hates Adam Sandler. Secretly, Adam Sandler did a Kevin Spacey to Gary. <laughs> they were at a party once. Gary was in a room just kind of chilling to himself. Adam Sandler stumbled in. He'd had a few drinks. One thing led to another. Gary tried to pretend it was Robin Williams the whole time. He knew if he pretended it was Robin, it wouldn't be so bad. He never got over it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary. Sorry. I got a bit dark there. Oh, fucking... I can't find a condor to save my life. Oh, whoa, what was that? I heard something there. Stop. 
right, Ravens, Ravens. One on his own. That's all I want. One fucking bird on his own. I'm getting squadrons of the motherfuckers all over the place. Uh, the, what, ravens, Ravens, Ravens. Sorry, everyone's just watching my camera turn really quickly. It's because I'm... The, you know, it's, it's the problem with open world games. You look in one direction. <laughs> you look in one direction and shit don't spawn. But it spawns behind you. You know, oh, you found one, right? Okay, Brinsley's found one. Right. Look at that bright sunny day. It's actually quite overcast here in the UK at the moment, so it looks like it's going to be quite a cool day. So people should not have as much of a go at me today as they normally have. So, right, he's got one more to go, and then I think that is a score. People mission will be our one mission we don't get done today because, well, I did it twice. I did that motherfucker twice and it still hasn't activated. So, Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. Whoa, what's that? I got something over here. I think it's an eagle though. I got a bold eagle over here. Look at me. Look how patriotic I can be to America. I'm going to see if I can... Should I? Nah, you know what? The bold eagle's not doing anything. I could just blow away. Uh, is this game better than GTA San Andreas? Uh, hell yes. And I love San Andreas. But graphically, it, graphically it beats it. Storyline-wise, story mode. Um, I'm going to go on the limb of what everybody else says. And story mode is absolutely brilliant. Um... It's gotten online. I'm able to play with all my bros. And, you know, don't get me wrong. San Andreas was good for its time. You know, but it, the time time has passed. Uh, can you pick it up and drop it? Oh, Gary's found one. The time has passed and things change. Games get better. Oh, what's that? Is that a lizard? Banded Gila Monster. Hong Hong Butt there. There is oh, what's that? Man, did you get... So you guys found fucking... Oh! Got that cougar right in the face. Man, that's the second time today these fuckers have tried to sneak up on me. <laughs> fucking hell. Man, I nailed that one. I should have fucking took in the body, actually. It would have been a lot better. So, ah, oh, sweet. So Brinsley got it all. Brinsley got all of his condors. Perfect cougar pelt. I knew I should have taken the meat. I should have just taken the whole body. Can't take it now, can I? Can I pick it up now? Oh, I can. It's a three star cougar. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Is that a man in there? Rode all the way down here and just got a perfect cougar while Brinsley got his stuff. Ah, well, I want to say I could escort. I could es escort somebody, but as you all saw, I escorted two people today, and they did fuck all. <laughs> so I'm going to call that the one challenge today that just doesn't get done, because, I mean, I rode down a river in a giant fucking canoe, you know, I rescued another guy whose carriage had broken, and neither of them got. But, you know, it's what happens, I always say that, sometimes, it, sometimes you just just can't get it done. Brinsley though, he has broken level 45, so that means he's got his next treasure map, so you can get some money. How much money have I got? 632. Because I do know that there's some stuff new in the store, so I am going to quickly pop to uh, Tumbleweed store and buy the stuff before we come off. Got 12 minutes remaining. Um, so, be coming off soon. I wonder what we're having for lunch day. What are we having for lunch day, people? I think I might go for a nice crisp salad. Chop up some ham, a couple of cubes of cheese, some French dressing, tomato, lettuce, cucumber. I also like, I also like getting a buttered, pe a buttered pre piece of bread and dipping that into the French dressing. Oh, 
It's all tangy and kind of ugh, makes your teeth sit on edge. But it's really, really nice. Um, so what have you all got today? Uh, do, 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 what got? You sure do stick out in the I do, don't I? I do. Hello, Hello Mr. Butcher. I'm looking to sell some wares. There we go. So I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of huh? those. Seems Always freaks me out when, like, when the butch the butchers do all have different voices. But when I hear the same voice coming out of a different butcher, it always freaks me out. Get that. Oh, look at that. Five dollars. So eleven dollars sixty seventy five for that cougar. That is a nice cougar spot. I have to keep an eye on those. Right, gonna head into the general store. Pick me up some some clothes. I mean, guys, I don't know what you're doing, Gary and Brinsley. If you want to head down to um, Armadillo Tumbleweed, sorry, and we can get a drink before we leave. Clothing. Let's see what we got. Just point out what you want. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need any of that. I don't need any of those outfits. Decosto hat. New type of hat. Mm. That's pretty pimp. I like the red and black. I'll go with that. I've already got one of these. I bought one of these. Just because A, it's limited stock, and B, it did kind of look quite fetching. So. Um. Fieldwork hat, don't want. Cromwell hat, strong sombrero, already got. I don't have the regimental, do I? So I'm going to just get that now. Bye. And then, do, do, do. Anything else? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Rig's fringe coat. Did we get? We did already buy the black one, didn't we? Yes, we did. Don't need that one. Chubrasso poncho. That's what Gary went out and got himself, didn't he? I got the. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the. Cause I got the green, so I'm gonna buy the red and black. Just out. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm looking quite fetching there. I'm getting quite fetching there. Um. Did I get a martial coat? I don't. Look at that black coat. That is nice. Snake skin or alligator skin. Ooh. But I do like the black. So, might. Is that $149? Jesus Christ, I've gone from 672 down to 272 in a matter of minutes by just buying clothes. I should never, ever go into a clothes shop in a game. Ever because I just blow money on shit I never fucking need, but I do look bad at it. So, yeah, don't need any more pants. Got my overalls, got my boots. Anything else? Nothing else. Limited options. Uh, got the chaps. The chaps don't like chaps. I think I only. Yeah. Ugh. Man. If there was an option to take your trousers off while wearing the chaps and just walk around in assless chaps, I would just do it for a laugh. Because, yeah. Uh, it would be funny. Um, gold and morrows. I got those red ones. Mm, no, I got enough spurs. I got enough spurs. They don't really do much. Taunts and jeers. I did want to buy the bring it on at one point. I was thinking about getting that one just to stick up to people. And I did kind of like this one because it does remind me of The Undertaker. <laughs> um, emotional reactions. Where is the... Um, who me? Yeah, oh, I've only got 300. Who? Me? <laughs> I did like that. I need a new outfit, but I keep spending money on upgrading my perk cards. I would say do that, Brinsley. Put your money into your perk cards just so that you've got better abilities and then you're not getting smacked right. up as Don't much when shit happens. They fixed it. I think they fixed the poncho so it doesn't look so. Um, doesn't look like it's cutting into you. So. 
I might have to get changed tomorrow. I just chucked these clothes on just for uh, just because I was buying them. Walk into the local saloon, had lunch for breakfast, chicken and bacon baguette with sweet corn and melt cheese, chili flakes on top. Oh, that sounds lush, Lungful. That sounds lush. Man, will you get the f out of the way? Thank you very much. I'm trying to get in. Brinsley, what up, Brinsley? Gary is getting ready to get his drink. Anna, he's probably planning on playing some poker as well. So, I'm going to get me a beer, ladies and gentlemen. What's your pleasure? As my boys are already settled down for the afternoon, I want to thank you all for joining us this morning. <laughs> How about turn the camera around and review, review the goodies? Yeah. I want to thank everybody for joining us this morning. Oh, look at the three of us just chilling here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you all for joining us this morning. Thank you for all your conversations. I know it got a bit deep at some points. I can't promise you that it won't happen again, but obviously I will try to promise that, you know, I'll try to keep control of people's, you know, just views, just so that people don't get upset because, you know, people will get upset. People always get upset. If I don't see you or I haven't seen you, good morning, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Obviously, I will not be on tomorrow morning because I've got to do the filming with uh, Gary. So I will try to aim to get on tomorrow evening, roughly about 8 p.m. Uh, UK time. If not, the video will always go, obviously go up as normal. And I will just say bye to you all. Have a good day. And I will see you next time. How do you do? Swinging lights over here people makes them nervous, you know?